in the Great Clan, it's a Roku Gang. And you were all given the honour of being invited to the Imperial Court by the Emerald Champion himself, who made you an offer that you, you couldn't really refuse of becoming Emerald Magistrates. You spent a night at the in the palace, getting to know one another over some sake and food, a few um, tensions occurred between <laughs> certain members of the group due to clan rivalry, <laughs> uh, and you set off south. Um, this is the point where I realise I've not opened my notes from the last session. Um, <laughs> Thanks so much for the raid, Punk Drum. I just opened it. Blind uh, city. Um, within Crane territory. It's sort of... It's a main port in Rokogan. Uh, it's somewhere that receives a lot of trade from the Mantis clan on the islands further to the east. Um, and in fact, you were there by order of the Emerald Champion to go and find a ship to take you to the Mantis Islands to aid them with some issues that they're currently having with uh, Gaijin. When you arrived at Mura Sabichi Toshi, you were kind of met, you were kind of stonewalled when it came to trying to get yourself a ship. And when you eventually approached uh, an elderly sea captain, uh, trying to persuade him to, to take you on offer of, you know, he'd get to see his grandchildren on the, the Mantis Islands, uh, you were accosted and attacked by a group of, um, well, for lack of a better term, a Yakuza, or the Yoshimura, as they're named here. Uh, in, in the city. Um, you, you killed all five. It wasn't your intention to slay all five of them. Um, in some cases, you know, the the, the battle kind of took over, or in the case of sorry, uh, Okami, um, your <laughs> your pet wolf. Um, <laughs> Pour out the throat of one of, one of them that you'd planned on keeping alive. Yeah. <laughs> and due to Rokogani custom, only one of you uh, deemed it all right to kind of search the bodies, and that was the scorpion. And what he found on the bodies of the apparent leader of this group on the docks was a coin pouch. Not uncommon amongst people in Rokogan, but the contents of it were. You found Gaijin coinage. Gold coins depicting a, a figure with the head of, of a man on one side wearing a crown. And on the other side, a strange triangular shape that out of character is a shield shape with uh, different animals on it. Mm. Could bear a resemblance to some of the great clans of Rokogan. Um, and this is where we kind of left off. With you guys on the docks, with the uh, Baishi Kisho, our Scorpion, finding this uh, pouch with the coins, uh, while the rest of you kind of clean the unsavory blood off your blades and uh, sort of catch your breath. Um, while you are doing that, you don't really get much time to sort of gather your thoughts or even turn back to the old man who had stopped to applaud how quickly you dealt with the <laughs> the criminals uh, before you notice that there are a band of samurai approaching the dock that you're standing on. Um, um, can I get awareness rolls from everyone just to kick us off here? <laughs>
Okay. Mostly good rolls. Um, you notice that some of the, the peasants and stuff who are on the docks, who were watching the, the fight, like, very quickly sort of rush indoors, like, slamming doors shut and, like, closing, like, windows and are pretending to go back to doing what they should be doing at this time of the day as this band of samurai show up. Um... One thing that immediately strikes all of you is that none of the samurai who are approaching wear any specific clan colours or a mon of any sort on their kimonos, uh, but the fact that they carry baishos is a sign that uh, the group that are approaching you are all samurai. All right, sorry about that. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, local enforcement, I take it. Completely, but um, and <clears throat> it's common for you know the great clans to use uh, their own magistrates when sort of policing their their domains. Um. And the fact that the that none of the samurai approaching you are wearing clay, uh, crane clan colours or have the crane emblem anywhere on their clothing suggests that they are ronin and not a uh, clan samurai like yourselves. Hmm. And then... I, I... Oh, go ahead. No, no, go on ahead. You got something So, for this is supposed to be Crane Land ter territory, correct? Yep. So, it's just a matter of, you know... And we haven't ran into anybody, so... Essentially, we've got this gauging coin with us. We've... Faced a lot of resistance at this point, like... I feel like this fouls under the jurisdiction of the... Imperial Magistrate at this point. Yeah, as soon as that that Gaijin coin uh, came into play, that's, that's yeah, that's difference. that becomes a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, say at this point, Kisho looks at Kakadi-san and throws him the bag of coin. Who are you throwing the coin to? Our crane member. Oh. Um, hmm. uh, Kurokami. Yeah. I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you were telling me. Uh... Yeah. So, yeah, Kishu sort of flicks this Gaijin coin towards you. Um, as this group of Ronin approach. Uh, they approach and they sort of fan out around the sort of entrance, or like the the path onto the, the the dock that you're on. Um, they look a variety of, of ages, um, from young to, to maybe middle-aged. Um, they have a fair share of um, scars and things that you can clearly see. Um, the kimonos and stuff that they're wearing are uh, like well worn from like use it's probably the only clothes that they have um but each one of them has a sort of dangerous look in their eye you know the, the sort of look that you'd probably see in a pack of hungry stray dogs um and all of them sort of have their hand near the hilts of their katanas even if they're not Directly touching them. Kuro sees this and he just gets his excitement is starting to build up again. <laughs> Kuro's like, "Oh, we're cutting people down again." Okay. <laughs> he, he, slowly, he slowly licks his lips and he just looks at him. He he just 
he, his face is one of pure ecstasy a smile a bright smile and he's like may I help you <laughs> and his hand just goes down to his sword ever so, so ever so slightly is just resting there on the handle just may I help you the um one at the head of the pack sort of sizes you up and down for a moment and like glances at the the four of your companions we were informed that there was trouble here on the dock we have come on behalf of the administrator of the city to see what the cause of this this trouble is political stuff i don't care no more and I just turn and walk away down further into the dock towards the whole bench. <laughs> I'm and... done. It's, he said political enough. Turn away, walk. I'm gonna leave it towards my teammates for that. <laughs> As Kira walks away, Keisha kind of looks him over. Yes, there was a bit of an unfortunate incident, but I think this one can be handled better, don't you? You, you see him sort of glance past you towards the, the corpses that litter the the dock. I, I, be, I believe maybe we could. That maybe Lord Oji would, would 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 appreciate meeting with the five of you. And who he would very much appreciate meeting with him. Do, who would, would I know who this is since we're in Cranelands? Um, yeah. Um, being a crane, you you're fairly knowledgeable about your local sort of court and like administrators and all that sort of thing. Um, so Murasabishi Toshi said is is an important uh, trade point for the crane, um, and technically the the sort of lord of the, the city is a man called Doji Ganai. But he is quite an old man by this point. Uh, and he has... He originally picked an heir to take over that wasn't his own family. Uh, but that heir has since sort of moved up in the world. <laughs> and so uh, he ended up appointing his son, Doji Kaito, to run the, the city. The fact that his own son wasn't the first choice for him to pick to, to become the administrator of the city probably has alarm bells going in your head already. Um, but other than the name, you don't actually know too much about Doji Kaito himself. He's pretty, as far as you're concerned unsubstantial as far as a, a crane family member goes. He's not like an emerald champion or an emerald magistrate or a, a clan champion or, <laughs> or anything like that. He's um, an administrator to an elderly father of a fairly important town, but he's not done anything that would jump out as being noteworthy. Okay, sorry. I, I, yeah. I, sh I would. Should I share that with them now, or should I wait? Do you? I, I'll share that with the uh, in the most concise manner possible with uh, Kisho. The the Lord is in one. <laughs> Crow um, is going to look at the Phoenix and Dragon Clan and just shrug and say are you are you not going to assist them with this political matter this is more of your <laughs> this is more of your clan's forte the um the ronin who's at the front of the pack sort of can hear you talking to the two of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, girl's not trying to hide it <laughs> he, he's not whispering uh, or nothing <laughs> lord doji would appreciate meeting all five of you even if we have to 
take you to him using force. Force? Oh dear. I, I, I look back as well. Keep in mind you're wounded at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I got that in mind. I'm not. I'm not about. Uh, he, he's not crazy. Okay, Kuro understands his limits. It's just force. Oh, <laughs> uh, that he looks at the head one. Uh, is he like big and stocky like the last guy? No, he's he's quite lean. Um, he's got like um, like he hasn't shaved in a few days. Sort of stubble around his face. His hair's tied up in a top knot, but it's quite loose and kind of messy. But he has a fair share of scars and things like that to show that he's he's at least battle hardened, as far as a Ronin goes. Uh, and out of the five of them, his by show looked the best kept. Kuro is gonna look at him and just say three, just the number three, and that's it. <laughs> Hearing this, being right next to him, uh, I'll finally step up and just towards that first run and go uh, I assume there'll be food <laughs> <laughs> trying to lighten the mood a little bit we can stop by the yakisoba place on the way <laughs> that was really good guys get some takeout that was that would, really good that no, but I do end. ask if he uh, if there's going to be you know food it depends how we take you to my lords, whether or not hospitality will be provided. And at that I say, ah, well, down for a little trip, as I look over my friends. <laughs> and I become I, uh, a lot more peaceful in my posture. His hand slowly moves away from the hilt of his katana. And that's at least one of you that we don't have to force into anything. Kuro shrugs and he just repeats the number three. He just <laughs> waves his hand away dismissively like he doesn't care no more. Um, does everybody else look like they're okay with what's going on? Yeah. Uh, uh... Uh, he Kitsuki is, uh, is, is of the mind that, yeah, like, we, there's already been a little bit more trouble here than we probably wanted for this particular expedition. So, yeah, a way to calm this down and make everybody happy is probably going to be the way to go. I don't want to piss off the Emerald Throne on our first outing. <laughs> You've like, been that's, gone that's, 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 the city was burned down. <laughs> That's a that's a three session thing. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I stand down. Yeah, Kisho takes his place next to the group. But you see, every time that Kuro says a number three, there's a visible wince. Um, <laughs> With the majority, I think, Kisho, I think Kisho knows exactly what I'm saying, what I'm talking about too. But yeah, the majority. I think everybody's going along peacefully. With that, like, you notice that he'll partially bow to the the five of you. And then sort of move out of the way for the the four other Ronin to sort of lead the direction for you. Uh, with him sort of waiting to kind of fall at the back. As Kuro passes him, he sort of mutters under his breath. I'll remember the end, so... Kuro is gonna just oh um, under back three. <laughs> and just keep walking. I just had two. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. We're gonna destroy poor Andy's game in the second session. I can already feel it. <laughs> Um, nah. Nah, nah. nah, we'll just roll new God, characters, it's fine. <laughs> if the guys of roles are on my side, I will. Ha it will be done in three. I'm calling it three. Uh -huh. Um, the Ronin sort of lead you away from the docks. Uh, near the docks is a large, quite elaborate building. Um... Oh, it's 
uh, known as the Daidoji Trade House. It's like the sort of centre of commerce here in the city. Theoretically, that is where these Ronin should be leading you to. That is where the administrator should be conducting business. But they walk right past. And they take you further into this port city, into some more questionable parts of town where essentially you come to a point where you're at this alleyway where there's a number of red lanterns sort of strung up down the alleyway and a load of um, questionable establishments sort of line the path. As in a literal red light district? <laughs> yep. Okay. Nice. Nice. Red Lantern District. Got it. Uh, I look to Shinigami and say, uh, very briefly, avert your eyes. <laughs> Kuro, who hasn't seen anything like this, because he's more of a I'm gonna stay on the training field type of person, is just gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, his, his face is going to be one of confusion. He doesn't understand what he's seeing. Like, he understands the the concept, <laughs> he just doesn't understand the process. And so now he's just like... <laughs> and my guy's over here like, huh, they actually are red. Interesting. And just... <laughs> All he's heard is stories. Kuro's just um... like, what is the what is the purpose? What does this serve? Hey, can I ask you a question, Andy? Yeah? How is prostitution seen in the world of Rokugan? Uh, totally. Poorly. Um, Especially by yeah. Bushido and, or, or Bushi boys, I'm yeah, assuming? Uh, especially within, within Bushido. It's, it's something that, you know, um, certain people in, in power obviously indulge in things like mistresses and uh, courtesans and things like that, but uh, on the surface, it's something that would be frowned upon. If they're taking you to a red lamp district to meet their lords, uh, it's it's not a good sign. <laughs> I want to look around and make sure nobody's like important or nobody from my clan is like around and sees me walking into a place like this. Um, most of the people around here are. Uh, peasants or you know the, the henna i think the term is like the non-people which a majority of prostitutes and things like that would be considered in local ganicus uh, society um Oof. there are samurai and things here but they are mostly like the men that you're or that are leading you they're mostly ronin uh or you can tell even if they are wearing clan colors uh they are people that are of ill repute to begin with. Um, they're, they're borderline ronin themselves. Kuro is just going to just take it all in and just like disgusting matter. <laughs> he, he scowls. He doesn't, he doesn't want to be here. He understands that this is just dishonorable just for him to walk here. And so he's just, now he's just looking for somebody to just target. <laughs> and now he's just muttering to himself, just like, ah, politics, politics, politics. It's always some form of politics. Why can't we just meet down at a tea shop and get it over with? How are the, the rest of you feeling? Those of you that haven't commented? Um, as as we're being led through here, does it look like there's any centuries, any people, additional eyes on us that are obviously meant to be doing so? Um, give me a, an investigation room. Okay. Uh, I think there's something up with the name tags. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm turning them off because I just noticed that as well. And fixed. Not a great roll. There's a few obvious eyes on you. And being a scorpion, you're probably not 
beyond your sort of level of thought to consider that there's probably others that you haven't noticed. Yeah. Uh, it's just that you haven't noticed them. Okay. Um, but yeah, as you're, you're led through, um, there's like men and women hanging out the doors and windows of these establishments, trying to beckon the Ronin and yourselves inside. Uh, and these Ronin sort of just kind of push their way through, kind of shouldering people out the way uh, until you reach an establishment that looks a little more upper class than most of the ones that you've passed. Uh, with the name sort of written in calligraphy across the, the threshold, um, Lady Kagome's Tea House. And at first glance, when you step in, while there are plenty of uh, attractive young men and women here, it does look like a tea house on the surface. Like There are tables set out and there's people clearly enjoying tea with their um, company inside as well as some other drinks you can clearly see that there is sake being served here as well um but what stands out to you immediately is in a sort of position of honor within the tea house is a a young man pretty well kept uh, with the dyed white hair that you it's typical amongst crane clan members uh, wearing extravagant sort of uh, an extravagant kimono, kind of sitting with two young women on either side, uh, drinking sake and eating food, while uh, a samurai sort of stands at the wall behind them, wearing a light armor uh, with a daisho on his belt, mm. um, sort of watching over. The uh, the samurai by the wall sort of carries himself with a lot more confidence than the five ronin that came to collect you. Uh, but he doesn't, similar to them, he doesn't wear any outward signs of belonging to a particular clan. Uh, while the man sitting down with the, the two women drinking and eating and laughing uh, is clearly wearing the sort of sky blues and whites of the crane clan. Presumably he is Doji Kaito. But um, as you're all sort of led in, the first person to sort of greet you when you come in isn't uh, the administrator of the town. It is a, an elderly woman uh, who sort of comes, meets you, she bows quite low and formally. My lords, it is such a pleasure to have you in my establishment. What sort of good hospitality can I provide with such men of high esteem? Do I recognize the clan, crane clan member? Uh, you've never met him before, but uh, you're, it's probably easy to assume that he is uh, Doji Kaito, the, the son of the lord of the, the town. Um, but for I'm now, it's this little old lady that's sort of greeting you. Yeah, out yeah. I'm gonna defer to the smooth talker here. <laughs> See, Keisha looks like Hirakami and Nas looks at Lodi. Um, thank you for having us. Um, room and or rooms would be very agreeable. We of course would like to meet the Lord, but. I do believe we have some matters to go over beforehand, if that lord be willing, obviously. She, um, she's only like about maybe four and a half feet tall. She sort of looks up. <laughs> my lord, if you wish to do business in my establishment first, then that is agreeable by me as long as you're willing to have some warm drinks to go along with that business. But I must ask the five of you to please remove your sandals and leave your uh, swords at least, your katana uh, with 
she points at this young boy who can't be any older than like 12 who's sort of standing at the door um the boy will take care of those before Kisho even gestures the hand away does it look like the crane member has his weapons on him or is he also at least outwardly look like he doesn't have anything on him um the crane lord has a wakasashi but it's sort of off to your right hand side okay from the mat the only person inside the establishment that looks armed is the samurai sort of leaning against the wall behind the crane the one who looked like he was kind of gruff and obviously knew his stuff yeah with the, the ronin who sort of led you here have sort of kind of left you at the door and um, with the one that sort of did most of the talking at the dock, saying that giving Kuro some side eye when he leaves you there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I uh, I will leave my sword with um Unigami and ask the boy to watch over the wolf. The wolf's probably <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, you uh, take the sword. Um, Kuro is going to give the room a once over, and he is trying to decide whether he wants to attend or not to see if he can leave it up to his allies. Um, he's gonna speak up, friends. I can watch over your weapons and accompany the boy to where. It was going to store them and wait there for you while you attend to this business. <laughs> uh, as this is a land that I am unfamiliar with, I would rather watch open the weapon as we are still here on very serious business and we cannot allow things to go unhindered. I.e., please don't involve me in the board. <laughs> <laughs> please. You guys have a political conversation, guys. I really don't want to be there. I.e., <laughs> please, please do not give me brain rot. Just let me watch. I don't want to be board. there. You guys me? don't want me there. Let's just make everybody happy. The, the old lady sort of immediately drops to her knees. My lord, you would be greatly dishonoring me if you, if you didn't enjoy my hospitality here. <gasps> Kuro is just bitterly saying fuck over just, and over and over again. Kisho just gives him the side eye like, please just do this. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Kuro, Kuro, Kuro gives a just hear, I'll slight feed you eye. Later. <laughs> Kuro just, it just gets a slight nod. It's like, I'm sorry. I did not mean to disrespect you now. I will surely attend. He says through like gritted teeth and he just gives a slight <laughs> bow. Kitsuki Sho uh surrenders his katana as well and, and gives Kuro the uh the little nod that's like, look, dude, I know, mm. we're all tired. None of us <laughs> want to deal with this right now, just go with it. Like Kuro hands over his ka uh his katana, his wakasashi, and he just he, he pain is just in his eyes. He's just like, I don't want to do this. Somebody call my mommy. <laughs> Shiba, kind of knowing how this all works, for the most part, having guests in your establishments and and whatnot, just calmly hands over my katana and bows normally. The weight of all the swords clearly <laughs> weighs the body down. He sort of bows, and the woman sort of barks at him kind of harshly. Make sure the the Lord's swords are well kept, boy, or else you won't be eating tonight. Bows, and he sort of disappears into a side room. Wait, 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 wait. Before the boy leaves, Kura wants to commit his face to memory. <laughs> <laughs> this battle... Um, My stuff goes missing, I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> I know where to look. <laughs> the boy is, um... He stands out, he's odd looking for... The only reason being that he has red hair. Like, naturally red hair, which is... Very uncommon 
amongst yeah. the local gang. Kurokami doesn't know how genetics wow. works. So, so before the boy leaves, I want to stare him in his face, and I want to intimidate him <laughs> as my warrior spirit would come out and just, like, fake slash at the boy. Is the boy Gaijin? Uh, not entirely. No. But yeah, I just want to, I just want to like have my eyes zoned in. At the, like I want to stop him and say, "Boy, wait!" And I just want to look at him and just like intimidate him with that warrior spirit, without saying a word before letting him go. You can see like the fear in the boy's eyes before he sort of runs off. Uh... And like as soon as. The boys disappeared with your swords, and the, the woman is entirely convinced that you're accepting. Great heroes can be found even here, uh, in the mud and the rain. The establishment where the young crane lord is sitting at his table, sort of looks up towards you. Ha! My friends, why don't you come and join me for some sake and some food? Kuro's mind is just like, is this not political? Is, are we actually just sitting down to eat and drink? <laughs> Has the Lord blessed me? Uh, I want, thanks to the Kami. <laughs> I'm going to assume that Sho probably is like the most learned of the bunch of us, whereas like Shiro oh, yeah. is like the wisest of the bunch of us, and I'm going to ask Sho, people come with red hair? Uh... <laughs> I feel like I need to make some kind of roll, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> would typically be a Gaijin lore roll, but you can give me an intelligence roll if you don't. Or you can roll lore unskilled. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Skills. There we go. Lore untrained. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Hey, not bad at all. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, as we've discussed, the character is very, very uncommon mm -hmm. amongst the people of the local gang. Uh, more so amongst members of the Unicorn clan. Uh, ah. That is because they've spent a great deal of time out with the Empire. Mm. Makes uh, sense. And there's been notes about uh, it occurring within members of the Mantis clan who also have quite regular contact with people outside the Empire as well. Uh, so it could be considered a Gaijin trait to have read him. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Kitsuki says something, uh, you know, kind of gives that general sense, seeing, says, you know, I, I know of no natural causes within the Empire, uh, so... This boy is possibly the product of somebody who has uh, left uh, our lands uh, extensively at some point. Uh, it, it's it's remarkable to see. That color is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, looking around the room, is there anybody else that stands out similarly? Um... <laughs> Like there, there's obviously the courtesans that work here, who are male and female. They all look local Ghani as far as you're concerned. There's yeah. a number of children running around, like sweeping up, serving drinks and things like that. They are probably most likely the children of the the courtesans. Gotcha. And there are maybe one or two of them that have uh, less than the local Ghani features. Okay. Uh, which implies something about this establishment. Um, I guess we yeah. follow? As you sort of come towards where uh, Doji Kaito is sort of sitting, he doesn't stand to, to greet you or anything like that, he just sort of, you know, motions for you to, to sit with him and for more sort of tables to be brought. I want to kneel down as close as I can get to him. 
as as close as appropriate. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you being a crane, it's probably appropriate mm -hmm. for you to to be seated closest to him. I would assume so. Kur Kuro will probably take the seat furthest from him. <laughs> <laughs> As a lion, it's customary for now. <laughs> yeah. He looks up at you, like, when you're sitting down. Uh, and you can see the Akodo clan sort of crest, uh, family crest alongside the, the lion one. My mother is from the Akodo family. Such a pleasure to have such distant kin here to enjoy a drink and a good meal with me. Kuro, eyes widen. Family? <laughs> He's uh, oh, I didn't I didn't know that we were from the same family. Yes, I I am very honored to make this or uh, have this drink with you. Let us partake in food as kin. Distant cousins, perhaps, much like myself and Yuri gestures towards Kurokami, although from the other side. I nod and kind of, like, bow respectfully to Kuro and say, Who would have thought that you and I could have such relations? <laughs> Kuro is just strange that he just says yes, and to our continued relations. Meanwhile, he's just seething. <laughs> it is just like, ooh, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> that, I'm going to do my, my best friend. to position myself between those two, however I sit. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> Why don't you sit? Uh, there are cups, there's warm yep. sake, fresh rice, plenty of fish, and lots of beautiful entertainment for us. L5R, the game of not offending anybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I assume we all kind of, you know, jostle around a little bit and have a seat and you know, begin partaking a little bit, and just, you know, kind of waiting to see what's going on. Uh, is there a tea ceremony? Is that what they're doing, or is it much uh, more? Please, please go. Okay. Please go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, um... I am curious as to find out why there are such esteemed members of the, the Phoenix Dragon and uh, Scorpion Clan here in my father's city. We all have tokens that show that we are part of the Emerald Magistrate, correct? Yeah. He doesn't know that yet though, right? No. No. Okay. Okay. Such strange traveling companions for a noble lion and an esteemed crane. I'm definitely deferring to Kisho here. I'm out of my element. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Kisho looks around and just very obviously he looks around the room. I see you like to surround yourself with strange companions as well. <laughs> Is there anything strange about a crane surrounding oneself with such beautiful things? Possibly not, but I do notice a surprising lack of clan colors. You're referring to the Ronin who are in my service. Does Very that technically so. make them Ronin, though, if they do serve the Lord? He sort of glances behind them. Hmm. What do you think of that question, Katashi? The samurai sort of leaning against the wall sort of straightens himself up. 
I wouldn't consider myself a ronin lord. A ronin is a masterless samurai and I serve a master. But whom do you serve? Or Doji here, of course. And who so does then he... you do have a master. It's not always that simple. Hmm. Oh no, Kijo's just po poking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, you can get a sense of like the honor of both of these guys through a, a lower Bushido role. Or an untrained lore role, if you want to. We'll see how bad my role is. Not <gasps> terrible. That untrained lore roll. Yeah, the, te the ten didn't explode because it's untrained. Um, but yeah, you can make an untrained lore roll if you don't have the sheet on. Oh yeah. Uh, only the uh, Kisho and um, Shiro that are making the trying to get a sense of their, their honor. Yeah, uh, I'm still kind of waiting to see how things develop here. Okay. Uh, Shiro, you're finding it kind of hard to, to read both men. Um, you're probably likely to take it on like, high own surface alone that like Kaito is clearly not honourable enough to be to not be seen in a, in a brothel, uh, but honourable enough to deserve the respect that his title sort of brings to him. Um, Shiro, you're probably a little bit surprised. Um, you get a sense that um, Kaito is maybe a little bit more honourable than they immediately present. Uh, while his bodyguard uh, is clearly being less honourable, as you did. Um, but still not without honour entirely. I think I would definitely be taking it at face value, if I'm being honest. I mean, I would love to make an honor roll, but he's a member of the Crane Clan, and as I have said, uh, I have a lot of respect for the Cranes. Yeah, it's family. Yeah. Yeah, with that, I'd continue to be kind of just myself, like, just normal, trying to <laughs> ignore the fact that we're in such a red lantern district at the moment. Um... Kuro is just trying to hurry up and get this over <laughs> with. He, ha he has a wound that he wants to tend to. We were simply seeking passage on a vessel, and it seemed like that wasn't allowed. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> I have put no such restrictions on sailing. strange indeed we did it we did not mean for the actions that came about but it was necessary in the moment and we mean no dishonor we were simply seeking passage and the men were not agreeable to this the man at the docks Criminals. Criminals indeed. 
Metal. Have you slew five of them? Their cords have been cut. They died a warrior's death. Being as they were and you all being samurai of honorable clans and families. I'm sure their their passing will not be mourned. But again you've avoided my question of what brings such an a a unique company of individuals together. Kuro is slowly starting to get annoyed <laughs> with all of the backwards table talk and the beating around the bush. And he just wants to flat out say that he's part of the Imperial Magistrate. So he looks at his friends, especially Kisho. And so, just like, makes an annoying glance, just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're wasting my time. <laughs> So, I, I will wait. I will waste your time back. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Keisha can do maybe one push up, maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> so official business. They are going to where again? Um, to the current couldn't got to. Or is, is it in Azuma? Uh, probably you'd be going to Kaioden Gote. Gote? Okay. Yeah, that, the, the sort of large castle looking one on the biggest island. Is there any other reason, I guess, a group or even individually our clans would be going there? Um. <laughs> Could have been invited by the the Mantis clan themselves, or um, you did you? I did you say did that I am, to, guys, I guys, I or something like that. <sighs> we can't outright lie to him, Kisho. I did tell him, Someone I did can. tell you guys that I am engaged to an unknown beauty from the Crane Clan, if you uh... want to use that as an excuse. So we could be going to see my unknown fiance, but that's that's up to you to decide. True. Well, what's, what's the what's the consensus here then? Actually, I don't yeah. think I took that one, so we can lie. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kuro doesn't care. He's just looking at you guys like, if you continue to waste my time. I will waste your time. I promise you. <laughs> Despite, obviously, being from different clans, we have certain relations, and your cousin here is to be wed. And that occasion has brought us together in our travels. Cora's Cor Cor looking around like, yeah, I'm getting married. Like, yeah, like, he, that fancy like he's like, to himself. Role. Uh, a sincerity role. Yep. Like, Kuro is thinking to himself, I'm getting married soon? How the fuck do they know? And I, know. <laughs> I can live with that! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, have, I actually have a character sheet for... Can I know? So I can roll this one. Uh, <laughs> it's not, not good at being... Uh, at noticing when he's being lied to. <laughs> Uh, Kuro looks at you and just like, drink so? Mm. And he's like, I'm going to talk to you later about that. I need to know <laughs> what you know. <laughs> oh, that was close, but yeah, he's a. Uh... Or. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, congratulations, cousin. That calls for even more alcohol and for you to enjoy some pleasures before. Ultimately, you cannot. The, the only pleasure that I wish to seek, other than that of sweet liquor, is that of battle. 
I mean, you have different tastes, cousin, I'm afraid. Ah, but you, but you must understand, being one who is also with relations with the Koto family, you understand how much we pride our combat ability. My mother, she indeed did. Um, if it wasn't for her, then this city would still be in the hands of the Mantis clan and not the Crane. Understandable, cousin. So you know how much battle means to us. If you can, if you can offer me a, a honorable opponent for a nice spar, I will gladly take joy in that pleasure. He glances back towards his bodyguard. Koro speaks up. Maybe the Ronin that you sent the fetch us earlier. <laughs> he seems. To, he has seen to have some uh some sort of disdain against me, and I just wish to show him that battle doesn't just have to be vicious. It can be a bonding experience between two warriors. Hmm. Katashi, go fetch him. Get the old lady <laughs> to clear some space in the garden outside. Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Honor! <laughs> uh, cousin, you honor me deeply. Kuro bows. We. I, am free, I, am, I am going to take part of this very well. I will not disappoint you, cousin. Come, let us, let us all have a toast to my wedding. He raises his sake cup. I'll drink to that. Kuro raises his as well. Cousin Kuro's wedding. Hiya! Kuro downs it. <laughs> he takes a drink, slams a cup down on the table. Ah, cousin, I have one more favor to request. Kuro says that he bows deeply. If you will um, allow it. A favor? Yes, cousin. I have been stabbed by one of the criminals when they came to attack us on the docks. I was wondering if you would allow me to get it treated real quick. I suppose maybe one of the women here has skills in the healing arts, uh, along with other ones. Ah, uh, thank you. If you can have somebody direct me to a changing room, then I will await her there for my treatment. Treatment. He, <laughs> he, um, <laughs> he kind of gestures to one of the, the women who are kind of hanging on and laughing at every word that he says to sort of take you to one of the rooms. Uh, she sort of stands up and takes your hand and coyly leads you upstairs. Uh, Kuro is just happy to finally leave the fucking room. <laughs> and now he gets to beat up on the guy. He is he is happy. He's like, oh yeah, this is great. I get my wound taken care of. I get to beat up that guy. And I get to get out this room. Excellent. I will be awaiting you guys in the courtroom. Thank you, cousin. Kuro says that he gives a deep bow before leaving. You can just almost hear the excitement of him trying to get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, the um, courtesan sort of leads you upstairs to a quiet room. Although the other rooms that you pass are not so quiet. Um, she takes you into a comfortable room uh, where she goes, gets one of the children to sort of fetch a basin of hot water and uh, a cloth and some clean strips of cloth to tend to your wound. Uh, while downstairs, uh, Kaito, who for a very brief moment is without a bodyguard, uh, doesn't feel that he has too much really. He's clearly comfortable enough now that he thinks that you're just here for a wedding. 
uh, the kind of laugh and joke and <laughs> have, have a lot of drinks. Um, clearly, he he enjoys a good drink. And there are a few empty bottles of sake on the table. I ask him if he's married at some point. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not married. And nor do I want to be. Not yet, at least. What are you waiting on? When I'm uh, of an age where I'm too old to enjoy women more than maybe once a week. <laughs> But how will you raise strong children if you cannot teach them to fight? Huh. As in Kurakami, do I look like I am trained in such skills? I'll send them to the Kakita Bushi school and have them trained to be an expert swordsman, such as you said. Um, I think Kakita would kind of like bark out his his laughter when he hears that and says... And then, like, kind of, like, wipes away a tear from his eye, like, oh, oh, man, that's good, that's good. Wait, oh, you're serious? But, but, um, a man's first teacher should always be his father. I suppose I will teach my child other skills to keep them alive in the Empire. I meant no disrespect. I simply am confused. Stranger that you bring it up though, I myself wasn't actually taught within any of the crane schools, either as a bushy or courting. Where, where did you train? I trained amongst the Yatsuki of the Crab Clan. My father, despite being trained, uh, amongst his namesake in the doji ways of court uh, felt that if I was to be an administrator for such a prosperous city then the Yatsuki way of trade would um, be more profitable and more beneficial I suppose my bodyguard there is um Formerly of the Crab Clan as well. Indeed, I suppose it takes all kinds to make the world go around. So, while this is going on, I want to make sure... Kisha's making sure the Saki is making it to his end of the table non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as soon as there's a couple of empty bottles on there's, the table... Yep. Yeah, like... Child, like, oh, you see little ch children's hands reaching out and skipping them away <laughs> uh, and sort of clearing them off the table and bringing more. Um... And he's he's taken a couple drinks, but he's not he's not downing it by any means. He's making sure he's staying nice and lubricated at the end of the table and Kisho's just slowly sipping his. Show, I think you might be uh, muted, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think Stefan's muted as well. I yeah. can see his mouth moving, but can't yeah. hear. No, uh, I was talking to my wife, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> want to make sure uh, we get, nope. give you guys time to say what you want to do. Yeah. I didn't want to dominate mm -hmm. the whole conversation. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Mm. I think she was just like trying to get out of here, but in a different way than Kuro was. <laughs> Not in a, <laughs> yeah. Not in a like I hate this stuff kind of way, but in a way of like, yeah, I don't really want to be in this particular <laughs> yeah. district of mm -hmm. town anymore. What so was, I'm just kind of letting time pass. Yeah. The key show is trying to get Kaito nice and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. He's uh. Doesn't take much persuading to, to get Kaito nice and drunk. Uh. <laughs> Since you're, you're sort of, imagine, I, in my head, I kind of see you playing the fool a little bit, Kisho, 
like leaning in and offering him the bottle and oh, filling yeah. up and things. Oh yeah, he is he's laughing and he's filling like he's he's laughing, he's engaging, but he is when he gets back to himself, it's just a sip. Yeah. <laughs> can can you give me a investigation roll? Yes I can. Um, like, as he's sort of starting to sway, you've kind of plied him with a lot of alcohol. Um, and he's been a little bit handsy with the, the the women and even some of the men round about him. His kimono's sort of loosening off a little bit. And you catch a glimpse of something sort of tucked inside his kimono. It's metal, for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has like, a wooden, oddly shaped handle on it. It looks like a metal tube uh, worked into some wood with a, an odd handle on it, kind of tucked inside his kimono. Um, you've never seen anything like it before in your life, most likely. Okay. Um, upstairs, uh, the courtier, uh, or court courtesan, is uh, pending to Kuro's wounds. She's sort of gently bathing them with some scented warm water, cleaning uh, the quite deep knife wound that you have, uh, and she wraps it uh, pretty firmly. Um, and she, she rolled ridiculously good on the healing roll, and, and you're back to full health. Um, so, yeah, the wind is still technically there, but it's been cleaned and tended to well enough that it doesn't really bother you. Nice. It's going to leave. It might actually not leave too bad a scar, since she's taken such good care of it. Kuro, Kuro doesn't mind. That's just another... It, it, the scar will just mix in with the black and just fade away. Just mixing in with his skin once it heals up, making it looking like a, a dark patch to him. It's not going to affect his beauty at all. In fact, it might enhance it more. <laughs> he doesn't care about the scar. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you, my lord, while we're here alone? No, you may take me to the courtyard and fetch my swords. For I prepare for a glorious combat. Um, she bows her head and sort of gets up, leads you back downstairs. Um, by the time you're coming back downstairs, Kaito's bodyguard, uh, Katashi, is coming back with the, the Ronin, uh, or the group of Ronin that came to fetch you. Which one was it that insulted you? Ah, uh, it wasn't more of an insult. It was just a disagreement about things. Uh, I'm, I'm well aware that he knows of the number three. Come, step forward and be honorable. They face me on my day of, uh, on the day before one, on my wedding. Come, come. This is a great honor for you. Um, the Ronin sort of looks at you and kind of glances towards Kaito. Uh, Are you sure you want to be doing this? <laughs> I am positive. Come, come. Let us exchange words before we exchange swords. This isn't a bloodshed. This is just us becoming friends on the battlefield. A battle <laughs> isn't just about murder. It's about comradeship. Once we cross swords, you'll understand my intents and I will understand yours. The, um, the old lady, you see her sort of like shoo some children towards a back door 
they sort of slide open, it opens up into this very well kept, um, kind of stereotypical Far Eastern style garden with like this cherry blossom tree in the middle and the koi t- uh, sort of pond uh, with like, a little cobblestone path running down the middle of it. Mmm, beautiful. You see the Ronin, like, none of the five that came to fetch you really seemed all that confident when they came and seen that it was five samurai that they were sort of there to fetch. Um, and it doesn't take much to tell that he he is not comfortable in this situation. <laughs> But Kuro is just brimming with excitement. Kong, Kong, do not be scared. Do not dishonor yourself, for I have requested you specifically. Or do you wish to disrespect me, not only me, but my clan and the lord of this town? For I have just learned that we are kin. The uh, Kaito sort of nods to him. <laughs> this is Coro. This is this is as much as political Coro is gonna get with. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you to fight. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get you to pick up your sword. Coro is gonna look around. Where's the redheaded boy? I want him to be my sword boy. <laughs> the um, you can see the boy sort of coming out. Um, the like the the old woman sort of shoving him out of the room with your sword. Uh, come, the Ronin... come, boy. I want you to stand by my side. If, you... if it is to spar that you want, my lord, maybe we could have the someone fetch us some bulking from from a training yard to to do it with instead of real steel. Calm yourself, man. I am not going to. De- We're not trying to kill each other. Each other. It's just first blood. If you want the effects spoken, we can, but that will turn into a match for sure. I will let you decide since I issued the challenge. We can either do first blood with steel, or we can have an actual match with Boken. Um, for I can promise you that I have snapped many of Boken back at home. I will probably need them to come in a high amounts of number for how great my strength is. Can you see him yeah. look at Kaito? Um... Do any of you have the core tier um, skill? I do. Yeah, hmm. yeah, it's expected you would have. Um, Look at that bad boy. Nope. No. Oh. Okay. Yep. Mm-mm, I don't have the courtier skill. I don't. At least I don't believe I do. I'm look. Yeah, no, I don't. not have the uh, courtier skill. Cor- courier under the um, hey. calligraphy. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, and uh, courtier is what I was looking for. You see, um, or at least uh, Kisho, you notice that uh, Kaito's demeanor shifts. It's almost like um, the idea of. Sh- blood being shed at the minute is sort of snapped them out of the drunken giddiness that he was in. Maybe he wasn't as drunk as he was making out to be to begin with. Gotcha. I think still makes it more more interesting, I feel. Uh, the Ronin sort of Gives him a nod. And you feel that there is something unspoken in that gesture. Oh, I do? Uh, no, Kisho. Oh. Uh, you, you're used to pulling strings and manipulating things in a way that benefits you. Yep. And you feel that Kaito has sensed the opportunity to benefit here. Uh, without any loss of face or repercussions from yep. it. And both of them sort of nod to one another. 
and the Ronin sort of adjusts his sword on his belt and heads out into the garden while the little redhead boy sort of holds ears out to you. No, no, come boy, come. And I just walk into the garden with the... I want the boy to follow behind me with, with him holding my sword. Where is Kaito still at the table with us, or is he gone outside already? He, <laughs> this is the first time you've seen him get up from the table the whole night. He sort okay. of gets up. He uses his wacky sashi to sort of help himself stand up. But it's... I've witnessed enough to see it's clearly an act. And he, he sort of he adjusts it kind of sloppily into his sort of uh, belt ob- obi. Um... And his bodyguard sort of uh, falls in beside him as he sort of shuffles outside. A number of the patrons in the establishment by this point have sort of stopped. And they're all sort of peering to try and get a good look into the garden. Well, you guys have a seat of honour, yours are pretty much right at the door looking out. Um, he show leans into Kirikama or son real quick and goes, we're being set up. Kuro is going to look around the, the garden and he's going to turn to the Ronin. So tell me, how do you wish to do this? You did not give me a proper answer. Do you want to have this to be a fight, a clash, or first the blood? Because I do, I do believe you remember my remark about three. If you want me to explain what that means, I can if you want me to. Indulge me, my lord, if you would. If we were going to duel, I would appreciate if you remove your armor. It only makes it fair. He sort of strips the top half of his kimono down. And you can see the number of scars, as well as a number of uncharacteristic tattoos on his body. Uh, understandable. I just shed off the top part of my armor and let it fall as I undrape my Komodo and just let it fall down to my waist and just like tie it around with the um, OB stream a little bit tighter. So I have the, so basically everything is just hanging off from the waist down. So I have my armor, I, I have my lower armor on, just not the upper armor. And I'm just like flexing my entire scarred body. Just like, <laughs> I too have plenty of scars. I've been under a numerous assassination attempts, let me tell you. So let me, and so I'm just winding up, I'm just trying to intimidate him as I just wind all of this up. Like I'm flexing at everything, I'm just like rolling my shoulders, I'm just, my entire body is flexed. The number three, and uh, if you ask me as the Kodo, it's the number of strikes it takes to take down an opponent. It goes off of our Martial arts skills as a berserker of, of of our berserker school, our Marsu berserker school. The least amount of strikes means how easy it is to take down an opponent. It would be dishonorable to say that somebody was a one strike. You don't look like a one strike. <laughs> At least just three. You honor me by saying such a thing, my lord. And if you say that it takes three strikes. Then let us make this interesting. Oh, how so? Tell me. Like I said, I'm the one that challenged you. So you can issue how we're gonna do the challenge. First blood is more is less than three strikes, my lord. Indeed it is. Do you wish to go up to three then? If it takes as many to fall one as you. Incredible. I'll make sure you have an honorable warrior's resuscitation if it comes to that. I'll grab my sword from the young boy and unsheathe it. Come, unsheathe yours and engage me in battle. Hmm. This is not how jewels are fought. You've challenged me to- a duel, not a fight, my lord. The truth that is, I resheath mine, and I just like a small, sm- a, sm- a small scowl just appears on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring up the dueling rules. 
I read the dueling rules. Um, for I, 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 I just, yeah, I, just I didn't that. read the. I didn't read the others because there's another form of dueling that I read, um, yeah, saw. I just didn't it, have the chance to read it. That's our spell casting. So oh, okay. The four of us are all together, correct? Yeah, the four of you are set, or like kind of together. Kaito's if kind of. I'm up. trying to whisper. Would that be a stealth, or do I need to roll anything for that? Um. I choose mm -hmm. on page 87, by the way. Yeah, uh, you, you can you can whisper with a, a court hero. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, so there are three steps to Nijutsu Ro. Jo. Uh, there is the. Ooh. Ooh. So Kisho is gonna lean in. Seems like he uh, is quite the capable crane. We are being played. We need to be ready. How do you mean? I observed him. The minute combat came up, the lovely drunken, drunken acting ceased. He looked at that lovely bodyguard. They are up to something. I don't know what. But we need to be ready. You guys whispering in the garden. The Ronin takes a center stance, uh, as does Kuro, which is common, is, is the standard for a, a Naijutsu Joe. Uh, Kurokami, you immediately recognize the position that the Ronin is sort of standing in. How he's holding his hand above the hilt of his sword, how he has it sort of slightly twisted on his belt. The sort of calmness that's sort of flowing over him. These are all steps that you have been well trained in as a Kikita duelist. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. <laughs> it's probably really shocking to you to see someone as dishonorable as a Ronin who has been trained in the Kikita style of dueling. Uh, so we'll go through this a step at a time. And the first round of a duel. Uh, both characters enter what's called the assessment stage of the initiative turn. Uh, uh, so, what I require from you first, Eddie, is for you to make an initiative roll. Okay, an initial, um, initiation roll? Not yep. initiation. Okay, I got you. Let me find that again. Where is uh, it? Where is should it? Be, should be on the information page of your um, character sheet. Oh, is my wound still at 15? Uh, no, you're uh, back to zero. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. Initiations. Under information. Sure. Oh, here it is. You. I, it won't. Oh, I gotta select my token. That's right. Um. Click myself. Then I click here. Character sheet. Go down. Initiation. Initiative. I got a 17. Yeah. He's the faster one here. So, on the initiative turn of the fastest just um, the assessment phase happens, uh, you make an Ijitsu roll. Alright, let's go over the skills. And the target this... number is 10 plus the opponent's insight rank times 5. So I have train, so I gotta roll the train I juice. I got thirty-seven. Let's go. Oh, 
I've sharpened my honor. My mental honor blade is about to be drawn. <laughs> you, you, Remember, don't throw your honor. <laughs> don't throw my honor yet. <laughs> yet. You dishonor me by fleeing. Hiya. <laughs> He, he got a terrible roll there, <laughs> um, uh, but it was enough to, both both rolls are enough to sort of beat each other's target number here. Uh, if successful, uh, Julius reveals any one of the following pieces of information, plus an additional piece of information per raise, so neither uh, the Ronin or yourself may the raise there. Uh, so you can choose to, to learn one thing about your opponent, Eddie, either what his void rating is, what his reflex skill is, uh, trait is, what his Ijitsu skill is, if he has any Ijitsu emphasis, uh, the current number of void point points that he has, or his current win level. Um, I want his skill in Ijitsu. Okay, he has three ranks in Ijitsu. Oh, that's surprising. Okay. And okay. Is my roll 10 or more on his? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you exceeded his roll by way more than 10. Um, which means you will get an extra one keep one on the focus roll. Uh, so I'm going to ask you what your your Ijitsu skill is. Oh, uh, it's two. So he's probably feeling pretty confident. <laughs> um, cool. So at this point, you can either con uh, choose to continue with the duel, or you can concede. I'm continuing. Yeah. Right. Then it's the next step. Focus. During this round of the duel, both characters enter the focus stage of their initiative of the initiative turn of the fastest duels. The opponents study one another carefully, looking for any weaknesses. You make a contested Aijitsu focus roll if you have the emphasis, and Foid roll. So this is a little bit different from how the skill is presented. I have emphasis on um, assessment and focus. Did you buy the assessments or did you just note them in there? Uh, it was because of my school. Mm, I need to double check that. I believe doesn't, so. Doesn't seem right for a matzo to have those. I think I also might have brought it. I cannot remember. I just have it written down in there. I, I would clear those. Because uh, matzo school doesn't focus on juggling, so yeah, you don't. You have a um, emphasis on katana for kinjutsu, but not. Oh, okay. Not those for uh, hi. I get so. Got you, got you. Um, okay. But uh, for this roll, if you can change the drop down for reflex, uh, from reflexes to void, I think that should. should. Alright, yeah. so what do I need to roll? Uh, and I get so at plus void roll. So, and the skill, it's normally reflexes for I get so. Uh, but you can go to the drop down and change it to void for making this, this roll. Okay. So with that void, do I roll train or untrain? Uh, train. Okay. You still you're still trained in Ijet, so. Gotcha. I got a twenty six. Yeah. Oh wait, how do I add the one keep one on my uh, focus um, roll? Because um, I forgot about that. I forgot I won that. Oh yeah, I just put the one keep one uh, right just... here. Yeah. For now, you can just do the slash R D ten and add that to the the score that you've got. Okay. Not so good again. Wow. I got a 10. <laughs> they, uh, roll another 10. Another oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Explode. I got another oh 10. <laughs> what? Okay. I got another 10. Oh my. Okay. Wait. 
Did he just explode okay. three times? Two. Wait yep. a minute. That yeah, this. Yep. Yep. Um, so. That's the hit. Okay, there we go. God damn. Uh, second there, I really thought it was broken. That's amazing. <sighs> Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> you don't fuck with a Kodo. You don't fuck with a Kodo. <laughs> What was the highest roll we had last time? Or are we just doing everything? Oh, yeah, um, Will and I had really, really high ones last time. I didn't write it down, though. I should have. I had... 63, I think. Yeah. No, I had to call the um, highest one. I beat it's you Like a 54 like... or something, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, it was, okay. I had 61 and you had 63. That's what it was. So for that four, sounds right. Um, yeah, you've got... That's insane. Um, James <laughs> has 24. Uh, if one Julius beats the other roll by five or more, uh, that Julius earns the right to make first strike. Uh, he gains a three raids towards the strike roll for every additional increment five. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> uh, which means you could try and just take this guy's head off. Um, without making the roll any more difficult for yourself, uh, right off the bat. Um, oh my god. Okay, so, <laughs> on the third round of the duel, both characters <laughs> the strike phase. <laughs> on the initiative turn of the slowest duelist, uh, the duelist who won first strike makes an Aijutsu Reflex is attack roll, so if you want to change Void back to Reflexes for that setting. Mm -hmm. And do I need to remove the keep? Uh, yeah, you remove the keep. Okay. Uh, so, this is this is where I strike now, right? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I want his neck. <laughs> 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 I want to decapitate him, I want his neck. Oh, yeah. Get him hyped up just to kill him. <laughs> I got a 22. Yeah, that is enough to hit. And with the three raises, um, yeah. Um, not even going to ask you to roll damage because <laughs> you're making a call shot for the neck. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, the Ronin doesn't even get the opportunity to draw. Um, <laughs> Like, just, just a full Kuro is, is just... Kuro's so hyped up for this <laughs> <laughs> uh, that it clearly <laughs> clearly encourages lightning fast before, like even even Kuro Kami you're probably blown away by how quickly that lion like lions aren't known for dueling <laughs> And you yeah, seen... but he hasn't fought anybody in like four <laughs> like, minutes. Like, right. come on. He, like, he was built up. Like, it was. He was. Yeah, like. That you, sword you... was blue. It was real blue. <laughs> you, 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 you've seen that Ronin take a Kakita stance. Like, and, and Kuro just. Whew, before he could even see the sword leave the blade, that guy's head is on the grass in the garden and there's a nice red sort of fountain of blood everywhere um all the all the dainty courtiers are like gasping and shrieking um the ronin that are in the place are all kind of shocked and kaito just kind of stands for a moment before he sort of Starts to clap drunkenly. Curl just turns around with his sheath sword and just says, Ah, the worst dishonor. A one. Impressive, cousin. Thank you, cousin, for the honor. Ah. That felt so beautiful. <laughs> the setting, the intensity, oh, this is the best form of ecstasy. In the I corner of your eye, you see the old woman like 
smacking some of the ronin towards the dead bodies, the dead body to sort of drag it outside and dump it somewhere. <laughs> I'm slowly lifting back up my uh my wear and I'm about to redone my honor my armor and I'm just looking around. Boy, come clean my blade. <laughs> While this is happening is what's Kaitu doing? Uh Kisho's eyes don't leave him. He um he's back to playing the drunk fool. Clapping and cheering on behalf of his cousin and making inappropriate jokes about cleaning up the mess and uh staggering back to the table and like unceremoniously sort of plopping himself down across from you. And what about the bodyguard? Uh, he stands watching Kuro for a second before sort of turning back to the table. Do I feel his eyes on me? Yeah, for a split second. I just, Kuro just gives a nice smile and just says, ah, maybe that one will be a two. I, I just look up in the sky and just say, ah, oh, maybe that one will be a two. <laughs> so I give the void back my sword. Cousin, I thank you for the honor, for the battle, for the drink and the food. Let us rest for the night now. And then tomorrow, you send me off before I can go see my beloved. Seems that you've uh, helped me narrow down who in my service is useful and who isn't. The night is still young though, cousin. Are you sure you want to go to bed? Yes, cousin, for if I have more drink, the smallest things might send me into another battle frenzy. You know how us Akotos are. I wouldn't wish to remove more from your service. For I wish to engage in more battle, but I do not wish to take more from your service, for them serving you is probably the highest honor they can receive. <laughs> for they, it doesn't seem that they will be welcome anywhere else with skills like that. Just... Jeez. Kuro's just over there, just teabagging everyone. <laughs> just, just like... Do something about it. Yeah, come on, do bro. something about it. I just took your comrade's head off in a flash. You didn't even see my sword leave. <laughs> It, sh it shows just over there, just like, uh, well struck, Akoto san. I... <clears throat> this game is badass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All I can picture is the meme of him, like, the sword barely coming out for a split yep. second, yeah. and then the head just, like, falling yep. off. Hell yeah. That's, like, uh... That's all I saw, too. Yep. <laughs> oh, my, my she there you. <laughs> no need. <laughs> and what about the rest of my new friends? Are you going to bed so early? I look to um This is your chance. This is your escape. <laughs> I'm look I'm looking at you guys. This is your chance. This is to escape. I look to the scorpion. What does he think is most appropriate action? I return the look. I think we should stay down and talk for a little bit. Kuro, you are... You are good and ready to go to bed if you must, but... I think... At the very least, some of us should have continued conversations with Kaito. Understandable, friend. I will now retire to sleep. For that battle was excellent. Come, you, servant girl, lead me to where my cousin will allow me to rest my head. Let's go. Works, my lord. It would be a pleasure. Sort of lead you along. As I'm walking out, any any of the Ronin that look at me, I'll just look, look right back at them, just like, what's up? <laughs> just like, you want your head chopped off too? I will lob it straight off. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't even see my sword leave the sheep. Y'all really do not want this. He's just really looking around this whole town like, who's got too many heads? 
who, who think they got balls right now? Because like, I can tell you, they're not as big as mine. I, I just One bitch just all of y'all out. I just, every 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 step of the stairs, she's just like, like you're a five-year-old. You need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking around just like it smells like bitch in <laughs> He's an interesting well, one, that cousin of mine. Well, at least I know how the dually system works. <laughs> um, I'm not when when I get into the room, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just gonna prop myself up in the middle, just sitting. We down. don't need to know how you're gonna and do I'm, this. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, I'm just sitting down in the middle because I'm pretty sure some of the Roland might want to try to get some revenge. So I'm just sitting there, just like, oh yeah, come on, I'm waiting. Try me. Okay, I thought you were going somewhere else with that. <laughs> like Kuro's not stupid. He understands what he did was extremely disrespectful to the Ronin, and he just basically made somebody an example. Because it was the talk of how he's honorable enough for three strikes, kill him in one, it just says, ah, oh, the worst dishonor of one <laughs> strike. And he's just bitching everybody else out. But somebody's gonna try, and he's just gonna sit there and just be ready for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Hi, all. Back down at the table. That was, um, impressive. He is brash, but he is skilled. I see that. Are you all equally as skilled? If we were talking one-on-one... -on -one, I kind of look to the rest of them. It's any man's game. We're all equally skilled. Man, we will not call to serve man, the Imperial Magistrate for nothing. <laughs> what was I that? Didn't th oh, you just told him. You just told him. Did you say that? When he, when he drops that line, oh, shit. Okay. Lee Cho is going to pull out the symbol and put it on the table. Oh, okay. Same. <sighs> so... Are you gonna stop acting drunk now or later? <laughs> You're perceptive. I should have expected that from a Bayushi. And dear cousin Kakita, I, I suspect you um, may have recognized some of the technique that the this honorable Ronin used. <laughs> My favorite man. Many honorable samurai see service to what so many see is little more than a merchant a little bit below them Ronan have no such misgivings I uh, I nod and uh, look to the, the homies Emerald Magistrates, um, I suppose a uh, more formal introduction is needed. I am um, by Doji, Ka uh, Doji Kaito, the administrator of this fair coastal city of, of mine. I just, like, come right out and brashly ask, do you allow such villains to patrol your docks? 
<laughs> the direct approach. Well, now that we're out, you know, now that we've put our yeah. balls on the table, right? just like, <laughs> go. We're, all, we're all taking our balls out now, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are felons, as you put it, or me being more of a pragmatist, see them useful tools for when even tasks would maybe be too dishonorable for even Ronin to pursue. I'm sure Bayushi-san you understand the need for such he should just tools. Check. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, Kisho, Kisho just nods. He's not going to disagree with that statement. Kind of see like a fair enough kind of nod. Yeah. I just go back to kind of getting like back to the thought of I just want to get out of here. Like when can we get on this boat? Yeah. <laughs> By this point, it's, it's probably coming on for night time especially if Kuro is already headed to bed um <laughs> I'm just ready I'm just like somebody's gonna try me and I want them to <laughs> that just gives me more reason to cut people down yeah. so my question is how much of what's going on here what word gets back to the emperor what does he believe is going on here? If I assume the information that you have is that the Mantis clan have been having issue with Gaijin on the coast here. Now, previous emperors have made proclamation that the Mantis docks are the only places in the empire where gaijin ships are allowed to to dock for business it was a a sole honor given to the mantis clan but it now seems that um, their business partners have shown their true colors to be less than reliable and more than hostile. I don't want any of the ships from my city sailing towards islands where some gaijin ship with its gaijin pepper weapons can sink them so easily. Telling me you are no longer control control of your own city. What I'm telling you is those men that you slew down on the docks. They worked for me or worked for me before meeting their ancestors, if they have any ancestors worth meeting. So, what you're telling me is that the magistrate of the city, you are impeding an investigation from the Emperor. Yeah. If you'd done the courteous thing as Emerald Magistrate, and came to speak to me first, we could have maybe arranged something. But as far as those peasants were aware, they were told not to allow any ships to leave the dock towards the Mantis Islands. They died fulfilling a duty that I had provided them. Kisho looks to the rest of them, seeing if they have any input. Is this guy still, like, looking sloppy? 
No. No, he's, so, he's sobered up once we course. call him. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, I would figure once we kind of put all our stuff out there. Yeah, he Total mood that. change. Yeah, yeah it, as, soon, as soon as Emerald Magistrate was mentioned, it was tidied up, suited for business. So you knew who we were before we came in. I suspect he wouldn't have invited us if he hadn't had some suspicion. And yet you still allowed your men to meet their end at our blade under the assumption that they would be stopping us. If I don't... I might have a little bit of a strange interpretation of the, the laws, but in my mind... Isn't that breaking one? I look to the rest of... Uh, the, the, I, look, I look to my bird bro, my dragon bro, and uh, my scorpa bro. Kind of like inquisitively, like, back me up here. You looking at Keisha, you see, he seems ready. Like, he, his eyes haven't left Kaido. Like, he's. The general distaste he already has from everyone, everybody's. The two weeks of travel have gotten kind of used to the constant stink eye he gives everybody, but he is just staring a hole through Kaito. I, I can I can help you out with that if you really want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Kiro just smells it in the air. Who needs to get put down down there? I can come back. Mm -hmm. Dude, just two smells. Conflict. Physical <laughs> conflict. <laughs> Is it just us and him in here now? Uh, no, there's still other patrons. And, the and the body as far as his like, bodyguard, his bodyguard. His bodyguard. bodyguard so, uh, keep in mind, the bodyguard is now the only one properly armed. Yeah, we still have. Yeah, have white sashes. Yeah, some of our arms. Yep. Our honor. <laughs> He's the only one with a katana in the, the room. What's the table look like in front of us? What utensils are there? Uh, chopsticks, bowls, sake cups, some sake bowls. Okay. Um, you mentioned breaking laws. <sighs> Those men followed the duty. They met their end. We are now meeting to make things right, isn't that right? Isn't that what should happen? Tell me, cousin, what would make things right in your mind? See, I'm sort of lightly sip on some sake. Mulling the question over. Yatashi, what do you think would make this situation right? Maybe some coco, my words. My man. Please don't. If the bodyguard asks for blood, I will be down the stairs I don't, faster than the wind. <laughs> I don't think I'm that interested in Koku. Then, um, then you won't mind parting with a few to ensure a boat to your destination, you know, and service to the Empire and all of that. Compensation could be provided should we feel it necessary. Mm -hmm. I think we can reach some sort of agreement. Three Coco H. Three Coco H. How long of a journey is this supposed to be? I don't ask this. I would know this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is, um, maybe two, three days, at most, depending on the weather. Oh, would that be a bit much? 
<laughs> Basically, <laughs> just not knowing how currency is and all this stuff. It's That's a like lot. Right number. Samurai tend not to deal with money too often. Yeah, these. it's uh, it, <laughs> it's more conceptual than anything. I think. Yeah. Um, you could give me a. Uh, there is a merchant skill. Uh, appraisal. No, that's common. Oh no, yeah, it's it's a uh, commerce. It is commerce. It's an appraisal is an emphasis in commerce. Mm. So yeah, you can make an untrained commerce roll. Sure. Poop. Hey, you know that looks like money. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, do not, not really click that. I don't know anything either. Cool. Okay. Yep. It's Sorry, what are we rolling? Merchant? Uh, yeah, it's commerce untrained, unless you... There trained. it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, untrained. Nice. Hey! hey. There we go! Yeah. Um, so out of the four of you, um... A show, and oh, the names have disappeared again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> show and Kisho seem to have a better grasp of the value of um, said sailing ship. Um, what he's asking for is a is a bit steep. Oh wait, hold on. He's asking. I thought he was offering us money. He's asking. Oh no no us, no. He's oh, no. asking us yeah. to pay him. Yeah. That's what I thought too. And then he he immediately turned it around on me. I was like, oh, oh I, I don't no no. You don't have to pay me. I'm not interested in paying you. And he was like, oh no, you're gonna pay me. And I was like, oh, I see what you're doing oh, oh, here. No, honey. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my boy Kuro at? <laughs> Just, said just call this me. guy's got too many heads. <laughs> you could call it a gift. What was that? that makes you, feel, you could call it a gift if you make, it makes you feel better. I don't believe the Empress is... It is an Empress or an Emperor? Empress. Uh, Empress. I don't believe the Empress is in uh, the habit of giving gifts. Surely it isn't beyond the Emerald Magistrate. Hey, look! Just yet, this just yell. I'll yeah. be there. And Kisho leans over as there's still servants walking around. Yeah, the 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 place is still full. Okay, he's a. I need you to go get my companion right away. Uh, the servant by this point looks at Kaito. Oh. And then glances, glances to the old lady. <laughs> it's exciting. Sorry. Um, Kaito doesn't even look at the the boy, uh, but the old lady you see shake her head. The lord who has went to bed must have been tired. It would be disrespectful to start that. Meanwhile, me just sitting on the floor. Who wants up? Who wants round <laughs> two, baby? <laughs> how how are my companions looking? I, I want to look to uh, uh, Kitsuki and to uh, Shibashiru and see how how you guys are like your expressions, your body language. Yeah, I got a look of disgust on my face, trying to hold my tongue a little bit at the moment. Uh, more or less the same. He, uh, the show is in sort of a mild shock. He is just like, what? Like, three Koku is a bit, but at the same time, like, he's still considering this because they do need to barter passage on a ship. So he's like, he's wrestling in his head. Um, and he kind of looks over to, uh, to your character, Derek, and he's like, do you think there's maybe some service we might be able to provide instead? Um, Can I ask the question? Yeah. I know I'm not there. So, um, my room is. Do I get to see if anybody's outside of my room or not? Um, again, like, is there like, um, the sort of 
rice papery sort of thin walls and doors you see uh, silhouettes and things like that behind them oh so there's people out there uh, oh, yeah. there's people in the other rooms uh, doing, yeah. doing by the noise and stuff they're not sleeping okay uh i would ask Maybe. my cousin oh sorry go ahead oh no oh since they're making noise noises that Kuro definitely doesn't want to hear. <laughs> He'll stand up, open his door, and step out, looking left and right, trying to remember where he came in from. Like, he'll he'll stand there just, like, scratching his uh, cheek, like, what fucking way did I come in here? <laughs> um, yeah, the corridors all look the same, once you're up there. Is there no servants walking the hall or anything? No. No? Okay. Then, uh, uh, I w there are? There, There's uh, no servants in the hall, no. There's, um... Again, you can hear you can hear the, the activities from the other rooms. You can hear the noise coming up from downstairs of, like, just general people talking. I'm gonna uh, follow that noise, then, of general people talking. So, yeah. So... Kisho, at this point, looks the old lady. My apologies. And I wish to put this any other way. But are you trying to inconvenience the Emperor? The Empress and her business and our business? I just need a simple yes or no. She, um, bows her head quite well. My lord, I would never dream of such a thing. What I am trying to prevent is... Additional bloodshed in my establishment. And while I respect that, send somebody for my companion now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cora's just walking around. Oh, <laughs> fuck this noise. <laughs> she, um... Hero's lost upstairs. <laughs> she just, like... gestures to some of the children. Who don't go upstairs, they go outside. I want to ask my cousin if there's any protection services that we would be able to provide. Um, in, in, in line with what Kitsuki Show was asking, <clears throat> in a last ditch effort to uh, avoid us having to kill him and all of his men, and then them having to find a new magistrate. <clears throat> protection. <laughs> There might be something that you can do for me. Hmm. Not really protection, but work of sorts. I don't know if I get your meaning. There is an individual with, within the city. One who has not been adhering to my request to avoid confrontation with the Gaijin ships around the Mantis Islands. I suppose I can't blame them too much. They themselves are a madness after all, but they do business in my city. And I expect those that do business in my city to adhere to the rules that I have laid down. Maybe the Emerald Magistrate could make an example of such an individual. Sorry, I was muted. I looked at you guys. Well, I'm not there yet.
I'm kind of in a tough spot because he's part of my family, so I really don't want to have to kill him. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can... I'm not in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, no, just no, wait, you, I'm just waiting on a question to be answered, then I'll respond. You, you got you got to understand, you may not want to kill him, but you got somebody who really <laughs> wants to kill the crane. You, you can just be like, hey, attack. Oh, dead ass? Hey, yo. I don't want him to necessarily die, I should say. Yeah, I can say, uh, certainly you wouldn't expect us to come here and play Common Executioner for you. But possibly there's some business that you can have done on the islands. You say it's dangerous for ships to cross that way. Well, it'd be much less dangerous if we were carrying us. Possibly you can get some business done at the same time as ferrying us to those islands. <sighs> we can be of mutual benefit. Don't think. I see the benefit of that arrangement at this time, I'm afraid. Luckily for you, the five of you, I also don't see the benefit of, um... Oh, I'm there now? Harming an e Emerald Magistrate. Because you said five. Or is he just yeah. referring to Just referring to the five. Oh, okay. If you can find someone to take you to the islands, I won't stop you. But you should know that most people in the city will not wish to cross me. Even if that does mean ignoring. He points at the token that shows that you're a member of the Emerald Magistrate on the table. Ignoring this. <laughs> most peasants wouldn't even know what that is. So, hypothetically speaking, if I want to whip my wakazashi and cleave it into his fucking head, how about would I go about doing that? <laughs> yeah. that, oh, that the scorpion that will, would be the one to do that. Yeah. That will definitely summon me. I'll, just I'll, I'll say some blood. more stuff. I'll say some more stuff before you go and do that. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Trying to... Uh, be as courteous as I can be, I simply point out the fact that you know exactly what this means. You know the power that we can wield with it and what we can and cannot do. Where am I at the moment? Am I downstairs? Would it, would it benefit Probably you to stop us downstairs. in our quest? <laughs> would it benefit you at all to, to stop us in our quest? You should be delighted to provide a service to the Empire. I don't know if it would hinder me one way or the other, to be honest. As soon as he says that, I give a little little wink. <laughs> just go ahead. Yes, you just see. You can. You can't see the smile, but you can see the smile. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you say I was, Andy? Uh, coming down the stairs. Do I see the little red-headed boy? I'll kill the kid. Uh, he was probably one of the kids that the old woman sent outside. Oh, so I won't see him as I come down the stairs. It's like, mm, I'm bored. They're making too much noise. I need to find a better place to sleep. I'm gonna go complain to my cousin. Literal trade of threat. Just like, I can't that's sleep not, here. That's not great. So yeah, no. Kisho's gonna try to silently pull out that, uh, Quickly and quietly. Ooh, yeah, no. Ooh. <laughs> mm, shit's about to go down. <laughs> shit's about to go down. 
Would this be the time that we would go to a break for the session, Andy? Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 awesome. I can't go off. Um. Both of them noticed it. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a five minute comfort break. Okay, guys. Uh, don't go anywhere. We will be right back with a uh, Heart of an Empire, the second half of session two. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, we, are we on audio right now? Hey. You know what I mean? From the stream here, is. Barrett, can you cut the audio? For... You kind of want the music. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can type in the chat. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. We can hear you, yeah. <laughs> we figured that one out. <laughs> he shows I loved that so much the drunk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Keisho thinks he's really been sipping. He's really not been sipping. <laughs> I'm gonna nip to the toilet. Thank you so much to everybody for hanging around. We sure appreciate it. Thank you so much for the raids. Thank you so much for the subs. Thank you for the follows. We sure appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. So I am back, and I am laughing hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's uh, at one point did we go full murder hobo? Because uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Before you say full murder hobo, uh -huh. <laughs> let me let me say I'm not murder hobo. Murder hobo was big killing those guys who walked up to us on the on the dock. I wanted revenge. I told him three. I kept telling him three. He didn't get the warning. I looked at him three. I made an example of him. They should understand what the fuck just makes me that. I mean, not only did I threaten them, I threatened you all as well. 
Because you guys are like, well, shit, but uh, Kodo can do that. What the fuck? I can't do that. Mm. <laughs> that fast. <laughs> I never bursted that much before. Yeah, that was a hell of a roll, dude. Oh, yeah. That was I, cool. th I thought it was broken because I was just like... I did too. Because it just kept going and going and going. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And then he finally rolled that too. I'm like, oh my god. No, he really just did roll that. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that was... Yeah. That was good. I was like, am I going to stop? How many, how many raises is it? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. I'm always hungry. Also, Me too. Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't think it's murder hobo because it sounds to me like he's doing something that's like literally illegal and like against the good of the empire. So. I just, yeah, I try, that's what I, I said. Tried, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to to offer some different things. I tried to give him a way out, but he just. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I didn't really want to hunt down some some rando. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. I'm fine with that. I feel like that's not really what we're. No, no that to do. it. You, you make an excellent point, actually. I mean, he was... He's being a little unreasonable either way. Uh, so... Yeah. Uh. Wouldn't have tried to extort Emerald Magistrates. <laughs> I'd offer him a beneficial thing. He was like, nah. I was like, well, you should just do it out of duty. He's like, nah. <laughs> well, I mean... I did something that you even can make me right. <laughs> you back. That would make sense to you why his father didn't want him to be the administrator of the town. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alright, I'll turn the music back down a smidge. Okay. Roll back. Bodyguard Katashi sort of like suddenly barks out the words, I wouldn't do that if I was you, Scorpion. Keisha turns his hat. You can see his hands already resting on his katana. You don't have to die here, but you can. <laughs> Kaito sort of chuckles. I would prefer if uh, no one else had to die here. I've told you that I won't stop you from going to the island if you can find someone that will take you. You know we wouldn't be doing our job if we left you in charge. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh... Did, did Shinigami come back with the boy when the boy came bringing Kodo's weapons? Probably, you can probably make out the, the wolf outside the door. And you can probably by this point hear him howling. Uh, oh, do I, I hear him howling? Yeah, you can hear him. Everyone can probably hear him. Oh, I'm going straight for the dog. I'm I call for him, yeah. Now. Uh, he's got my sword, so yeah. <laughs> I call for him. 
for sure. I'm just bursting into the the main room. Uh, courtesans and guests alike just kind of scatter out the way. Um, but you, I'm, I follow the noise because I'm just like, oh, what's up? I I hear trouble. Uh, what he was howling at is the the group of women. That are about to come into the the establishment. Um, I grab my am sword. I there? Yeah, you've reached the bottom of the stairs by this point. You okay, I have no weapon. I'm looking around for a weapon. You have your wakizashi, right? I handed both of them. Oh boy! I handed every I handed everything over. I need a weapon. <laughs> oh I need it now. Um, if you're looking for a weapon. Um, Kaito sort of calmly sort of gets to his feet. How do I initiate a duel with somebody? You need to challenge them, and they don't necessarily need to accept. I'm gonna take my sword from Shinigami, and I'm gonna challenge this fuck-up of a cousin of mine to a duel. As you'd expect for someone who's not a, a bushy, he sort of laughs at the gesture. <laughs> Would a jewel change anything? My family's sword eats your soul. And you rest in the abyss forever. That changes everything. Oh. Ooh. Oh my. Damn. And what happens? He looks at the rest of the group. If I win. Do the rest of you just leave? Go about your duty? Pretend that I was never an issue? Do I see anybody armed near me? No, no one is armed in this apart from the bodyguard. Uh, your companions have wacky sashes. Um, Kaito has one, but he's nowhere, they're nowhere near you. And mm. the samurai, the ronin that just came in right the front door, which again isn't anywhere nearby. They're all armed. I have a sneaking suspicion that if I or my chosen champion were to cut you down in a duel, the rest of you would just proceed to go about your duty of making sure that I am no longer the lord of this city. I see no need for a duel. Itachi! Make sure these fools, make sure they've learned that they made a mistake. The former crab bushy draws his katana slowly. You see the ronin all sort of reaching for theirs. And can I get initiative from everyone? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hype. You, you guys are about to hear about the legend of, <laughs> of <laughs> Kuro Okoto, who mercilessly beat his opponents to death. <laughs> can I get to put that jujitsu skill to some of you? Uh, you guys are about to learn of the legend of uh, of Kuro. <laughs> Where do I go for the initiative again? Uh, Under information. Your, uh, information it says yeah. that my value. Oh, I didn't select my token. That's right. That's my bad. That's right. I keep forgetting that. Oh, nice. I really want to kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, Kakita Jolis are pretty fast off the mark. Um.
Oh, I got a 14 this time. Alright, click my token and then... Uh, roll the little d20 on your uh, initiative thing. Do you know where your armor is? Your target number armor thing? Hey. Right next to that. I think we're just waiting for your show. Yeah. It should be in there, 12. Uh, uh Kitsuki show. No. No, yeah, okay. they're... I'm sorry, you're waiting on me. I'm just... I'm totally lost in my character. No problem. So, I'm if you so go sorry. to information tab, the first one, and then you go, uh, you know where it says, like, um, the, the second thing below that, where it's got, uh, your armor, where it says, like, armor TN, um... Yes. It, it's the initiative one in the bottom left-hand corner. There, thank you. So I was look. I kept looking at skills. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? God, <laughs> okay. I'm not, still not used to this. Nice. D twenty makes me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a young lad, we played games by rolling actual dice on a real table. And That's we, the way we liked it. And we remembered it because we wrote it down on paper. <laughs> <laughs> we had things called pencils. Mm -hmm. Pencils. Ah. Uh. I have a question if you have a minute, Andy. Yep. Um Never mind. It wouldn't it no, I couldn't determine it to be that. Never mind. I was gonna ask if this would be one of those times but it doesn't sound like my wolf is directly being threatened. He was just howling to kinda let us know that there was bad guys approaching, not necessarily because yeah. he was in distress. But there was company coming in. Good wolf. Okay. Yeah. Nope. I see me and yeah. Katashi tied. Uh, who would go first? What is your reflex and straight? Uh, under air, reflexes, too. Okay, so you're tied there as well. <laughs> uh, Next tiebreaker. Yeah, what is your Ijitsu skill? Let's see... Skills... You said I did too? Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a big old zero. Yeah, so he, he's going before you. Okay. I just yeah. wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's like a spot second before you, but yeah. 
Cool. So, Kiki, Kiki Kurokami, you are first up. Just make sure Kaito is my cousin. Yeah, that means the crane, so he's related somewhere, don't worry. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I just meant he's not the, the crab bodyguard. No, I can't even mm. that one. Okay. Um, would I be able to... So, he declined the duel, so we're in fight? Yep, in the same one. Um... I am going to rush towards him and see if I can have um, Shinigami attack him first. Okay. So for him, it's going to be a skill, right? And then I'm going to go to... Um... Um, because of the stats for animals don't really give you a breakdown of uh, what skills make up their abilities. Biting doesn't really fall under any of the combat skills, it's just um, the attack goal for him. You quickly check the dog stats in the book. No, it's five keep, keep five keep four because of the jelly. Yes. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick a weapon skill at random. Okay. For on Shinagami Street. Uh, I'll just go with Kenjutsu. I'm gonna put one rank in it because if you roll the Kenjutsu skill now, it should roll five dice and keep the highest four. And that that's his attack roll. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit trained. Yep. Sweet. Oof. That's fantastically low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told, like, very easily just sort of sidesteps away from the, the wolf as it sort of lunges for him. Um, you're not gonna dodge me, uh, you jerk. Um, Kenjutsu for me as well, and trained. Yeah. How? You sort of fall through after Shinigami. Um, you take a swipe with your katana, like you can draw it, and one uh, is a free action, as we found out with Ijetsu Free. So you like draw the sword and like strike at him. Um, he manages to pull away just in a fraction of like from being hit. By I'm gonna get you, like, bitch. He probably <laughs> sees the sword pass by him, just barely missing him. <laughs> Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, his turn. He reaches inside his kimono and pulls out this small, strange-looking device. Uh, that he holds in one hand. It has two sort of brassy oh, boy. barrels. Oh, boy. Uh, like, tubes on it. Uh, and you see him sort of squeeze something as he points it towards you. Oh, no. Uh, Kurokami. Mm-hmm. Um, 25 is my TN. <laughs> Five. Okay. okay, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. Just. Uh, and I need to double check what the damage on this. Oh, no. Three, keep three. Ignoring armor. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, it could have been worse. Um, 14 damage. Okay. Uh, the room, there is a loud bang in the room. Uh, and, like, where Kaito is standing, there's a plume of smoke. Uh, and you probably see the blood sort of well up underneath uh, Kurokami's uh, armor and kimono. Yeah, I kind of like uh, 
stumble back in pain, I guess, for a moment and uh, try to compose myself. Mm. <laughs> uh, this is most definitely the first time any of you have ever seen a, a firearm. Witchcraft. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. You see the sort of confident smirk on his face, though, as he stands, like, pointing the pistol at you. Uh, Kitsuki Show. Hmm. There are four unnamed Ronin in this room. Yeah. Kaito himself <laughs> and um, Katashi. If you can get me a weapon, I can cut down the four of them. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is that, like, we gave up our katana, so, uh, like, we're all a little underarmed right now. And man, a dragon fighting with only one blade is... I, uh, uh, so... I thought Kuro, um, Kurokami dog brought his katana, so he's the only one with two. Right. right. Oh, hey, uh, so I'm gonna come snatch that while she off with you. <laughs> I'm gonna use my actions to just yoink Bari did. <laughs> Who's walking is actually? You've got, you've got, you Steal um, someone's honor? You've got Jujutsu, you can fight unarmed, unlike almost every other member of the Oh, that's true. I could just, alright boys, I just decapitated your buddy's head, now I'm about to punch y'all's off. Go get some. Probably intimidate them to run. I don't know. We'll find out. But go, go, go. But yeah, it's, it's Joe's turn. So what, what are you doing? Uh, Kitsuki. Um. Ugh, yeah, I guess priority is to eliminate the threat. And we'll kind of worry about details later. So, yeah. Um. Hmm. Weighing options, sorry. Um, okay, yeah. I'm still gonna try and disarm or restrain one of them. Um, because I, st I still feel like we need some kind of... I don't know, just... I, I, I don't want to just go full-on blood slaughter with these guys just yet. Even, well, no, they did burst into the room, uh... uh all right, screw it. Let's take him down. Um, so, Wakazashi to the nearest one would be that. Uh, just going for one of the regular. Yeah, just to just to thin the herd a little bit. Um, where is it? Kenjutsu. There we go. Um, ba -ba -do, bam. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take that. Nice. Yeah, uh, that that hits. If it's one of the nameless Ronin, then yeah, that's the yeah. Uh, and then for damage, uh, we'll do. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Um. All right, full Kurosawa mode. It is. Let's do it. <laughs> yep. Um, like you like swiftly close the gap between yourself and uh, the Ronin uh, pulling your wacky sash out and you sort of uh, I'll let you describe how you kill one of these Ronin <laughs> right off the bat I can live with that uh, just yeah like I said we'll eliminate the threat we'll deal with details later <laughs> yeah so you just like wacky like sash out through the throat um, mm -hmm pull it out and he drops to the floor gargling blood yeah <laughs> that, that's one threat dealt with very swiftly um you're now you're like kind of in the middle of the other three ronin though i got well, you don't worry about it i got <laughs> you yeah so that's ronin uh is going to take uh a quick sort of swipe at you with his hand uh, okay. Um, 
exploding. 27. Um, assuming that's a hat. Unsure. Uh, what's your armor, Fionn? Uh, Stefan? My armor, uh, let's see. Oh, I believe it's 25, but give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, 25. 27 is a hat. Just a hat. I was the only one who got injured last time. <laughs> no, no, I got injured I last time. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, did you? you? Okay. Uh. Badly injured last time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I got stabbed. <laughs> uh, but you've been hurt pretty, pretty badly this time. Um, 15 minus your armor reduction. Um, I think light armor's reduction to uh, 3 reduction. Three. So you've taken 12, 12 wounds on top of whatever you already already had. Uh, which was 3, so damn. Um... So it's going to gonna hinder you a little bit. But... Yeah, I am injured. I am not doing so well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Your neck at the moment, which increases the difficulty by plus three. That's that's still still doable at the moment. Mm. Uh, Katashi. Mm. Out of the two remaining, uh, like so, Kakika sort of moved to sort of try and stop his cousin from leaving the room, and the traded swipes, and he's came off poorly for it. Show has leaped over the table into the band of Ronin and ended one of them, but is now paying the price for it. Uh, out of the two at the table, Shiru, you're probably the one that looks like that. You're properly, you're a proper bushy. You came in with katana. Uh, Kisho did not, <laughs> and so he's likely to go for you. Uh, so, I'm gonna uh, taunt him anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, Katashi is gonna take a swipe at you if it's Katana. Uh, character shoot. Bust up. Let me give me a second to refresh from this one. Sometimes the character sheet will lock into place and won't like scroll on it. Yeah, that's that. Uh, Katana, Ken Jetsu. Yeah, Your armor hits, for yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and damage. Ooh! Bruh. Uh, oh, so guy! This, oh. this brings in certain things. Um, Foid points. You've all been sitting with Foid. I don't know if any of you have actually been thinking about what it actually it's used for. Um, I was wondering. And, uh, yeah, so. so Foid points. Foid points can be used for a number of things. Uh, you can spend them to gain a one keep one. To any skill, trait, ring, or spell casting roll. Uh, mm. But you must declare it prior to making the roll, uh, and damage rolls can't be enhanced by it. Uh, you can temporarily increase a skill rank from 0 to 1, avoiding unskilled roll penalties by using a foil point. Uh, you can reduce the amount of wounds suffered by a single source of damage by 10. This must be done immediately after the damage has been announced. Uh, you can increase your armor to the end by 10 for one round of combat, but you need to announce it at the beginning of the combat round. Uh, you can exchange your initiative score with one willing target for the remainder of the current skirmish. Uh, and only one of the two characters needs to spend point, uh, a void point to that. Or you can just increase your initiative score by 10 for the duration of the skirmish. 
by spending a void point. And there's certain school techniques and things like that that also require the use of them. If you want to, well, you can spend a void point to reduce that damage. <laughs> by, um, uh, because uh, your armor yeah. is your armor is only going to reduce it by three points. So I'm I'm looking at forty right now. So I'd be looking at thirty if I did the yeah, okay. which should be which, enough yeah. to save you. Yeah, it would, it would save me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, oh, there's a little section there for void points that you've spent. So we just knock that up to one. Knock it up to one. All right. Yeah. And then how do I track? Uh, so you've got your wounds on the right hand side of the character sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's that first little box that says wounds. If you put 30, 30 into there. All right. And then that table shows you how many wounds you need to start taking penalties. So. With uh, 30 damage, your rolls are all increased by a massive plus 20 at the minute. Like, um, like for difficulty? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So like that's, if I were yeah. to attack, like it would, I would have to take the penalty, basically? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. four races, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's 20. Yeah, that's God, you can try to understand. Oh yeah, correctly. Uh, well. Yeah, this this game, it, its combat is real deadly. <laughs> it does not mess around. So, oh yeah. Actually, weighing out of the two that are still at the table between Kisho and Shiba, Shuri, uh, makes a call that, that Shiru is the the bigger threat out of the the two. <laughs> Shiba being the best bodyguards in Rokogan, you got to admire that practicality, but you you see the blade sort of flash towards you, and before you know it, it's cut very deeply into your armor and flesh and probably bone. <laughs> um, and you're now up. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> just um, just a flesh wound. Yeah, just put a flesh wound. Um... I would like to go uh, into full defensive stance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, full, full defense stance, you can't attack, but you right. can. Uh, you make a defense roll uh, and add the total, half the total to your armor. Can't get number. Defense reflexes, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're adding, uh, we'll round up eight to your armor to him. Um, right, cool, cool. So yeah, you're, after taking that hit, you've shifted to like focusing on purely protecting your own life at the minute. Yep, and I just, uh, I do just, uh, the only other thing I wanted to do is slip my mask on and just like stare at this guy in the face yeah. and pretend that I'm not hurting. <laughs> prepare, your, prepare yourself for for a, a difficult battle ahead. Yeah. Kuro, uh, there okay. is now a dead Ronin at the the feet of Sho and amongst the, the group of Ronin. Meaning that there are possible weapons up for grabs. But your entire round would probably be getting to the front door and drawing a katana from a corpse. <laughs> Who's start bashing heads? Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So that's what that's why I should about to ask. Who's closest? Uh, like the closest enemy to me. Katasha is actually probably the closest enemy to me. That's the old man. That's the bodyguard, yeah. No, no, the, yeah, that's oh my bad. Hmm. Simper fight simper fight I I I'm gonna run up and just Molly wop him. I'm I'm gonna stay in attack stance. There's I can't I can't use full attack stance without a weapon. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just if the super fight just knock him. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, damage. Do I get to add my honor to my attack? Uh yeah. Uh no. I think it's only if you're in full attack stance. So Oh no. No, you add your honor rank to all damage rolls. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. all damage, yep. 
So let's see, skill. So I roll for um Kenjutsu, right? Uh, Jujutsu. Jujutsu, got you. Yeah. Ooh, I only have one in that. Ugh. Uh, better what? than I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I got a twenty though. Oh. Ah, she's the thing. Spins. Twenty. Okay, so you've just hit. <laughs> um, what do I need to roll for my hand? <laughs> Let me add that to your sheet. Oh, man. Hey. Did you get so One, one. Yeah. Uh, so I've added, I've added unarmed to your your weapons category, so it should be one damage. Do you want me to hit the checkbox for school? Oh, uh, no. No? no. Um, and you're adding five to it from your armor. Alright, I'll add that in. Oh, you already did. Yeah. So, I've just got to roll the... Let's see, where yeah. do I... I got to switch it all. That little d20. Mm -hmm. At the end of the damage section. Okay, 14. Yeah, some of his armor soaks up. Um, it's 11 damage. Still substantial from an unarmed attack. Um, but he, he's a pretty tough guy. Um, Yeah, you sort of run up behind him and like... They're all like open palm strike in the back of the head it kind of juts him forward a little bit as he wasn't really expecting it um yeah you do a little bit of damage focus um, on a real one oh <laughs> i'm gonna talk to him. focus on a real one that's honoring she she is skill is a, a bush i don't think all right <laughs> the only question that at the minute after taking that i'll we'll handle that later okay yep uh, by your shaky show. Alright. So, the one that's dead on the ground, what can I see on him? Uh, katana and what, Kasashi? God damn it. You, <laughs> co op moment. Right? You know what you have to do. Fuck it. Where, where, can I see Kiro? Uh,. Kiro? Uh, yeah, you can say Kuro. I like uh, Katashi is kind of in, be in between him and mm. Ishiro at the minute. Um... Gross. So if I was to attempt to throw a katana to somebody, uh, what would I be using? An athletic room. Ah, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> and they would also be rolling athletics to catch. <laughs> oh, I got you! I got you! I trust you! I trust you! I want it. So, yep, I'm gonna go for that katana. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're not drawing it, so you're kind of just pulling it from the guy's belt and chucking it. GTRPGs yep. are for bad ideas. Do it. Yep. <laughs> <Okay>. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not. Okay. Um, so I have to roll athletics. Well, I threw a blade first. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! We're all wounded. That's gonna be a pride. Hold pride it by the pointy end. end. <laughs> um, yeah, give me an athletics roll. It's gonna be quite a difficult one, though. Oh boy. Oh God! I have a, a fucking strength athletics roll. Mm. Well, it's not six. Well. Yeah, that's not, not bad. <laughs> Let's see where that sits in terms of you it's just it short, it's just short of difficult. <laughs> the you you almost dive out far enough to catch the katana, oh. which has been sloppily tossed. To you. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! Like, you know, and it clatters to the ground. Uh, kinda between you and and Katashi. Um, Maybe. You just hear that ah, when he throws it. Mm. Uh, you bastard! I'm giving you push-ups. I'm gonna make you strong. <laughs> now though, um, our our um, 
Oh, this isn't a perfect Scorpion is in dangerous range <laughs> of some of the Ronin. And one of them is going to take a slash at Bayushiki Show. Oh, buddy, it's been nice! <laughs> well, one of us had to go. So. Yep! 27. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> oh, yeah! Dear God. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, 14 damage. You don't wear armor, do you? No, I don't. Oh, God. Better oh. than 43. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you could still opt to spend the void point to knock it down by 10, but um, mm. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. I'll do that. Uh, cool. You see this Ronin slash at you with the katana, and you see the smug look on his face as he thinks he's hit you pretty seriously, to only see a slight slash uh, kind of through your kimono, uh, as clearly the kami are looking out for you. <laughs> um, the other remaining Ronin is going to move into... Hmm. It's Suki. Show by Shiki. Show me eating his target. Uh, he's going to go for the bushy though. He's going to try and take down Show. Uh, that was not as good a roll as previous. Um... Nineteen. Uh, no. Uh, at least yeah. that didn't hit. Mm. Yeah, you, you see the second Ronin who's trying to take a strike at you come in and you're able to sort of maneuver quick enough to avoid uh, the katana strike. <laughs> uh, Kakika Kurukami. Back to you. Uh, what stance are you going to be in before? Uh, what stance is everybody going to be in this round of combat? Oh you, boy! You remember to do that at the start of combat rounds. Well, I'm in. A, I'm still in the attack stance. I had already stated that. Uh, if I get a weapon, that's gonna change what I go into. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if I can. Uh, Eddie, are you injured at all right now? No, not at all. Good. Okay, I've got a plan then. <laughs> Say no more. No, say more. Eddie. What's the plan? <laughs> uh, well, so, I... Right, so, uh, let's do the stances first. So okay, I know, uh, I know, Shiba, Shiba, you're, you're in full defense, so put a little icon oh, yes, yes. into that. So who, who's in attack mode? Just attack stance? No. So Kuro, you're in, you're, you're in attack stance. Just mm -hmm. not full attack, just regular attack mode. Uh, Yo, I, uh, I got my I got my lion paws ready. <laughs> yep. Uh, Kurakami, what stance are you in? I'm going into full attack stance. Full attack. Okay, so I'm gonna put something with a little angry face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, this guy flexing muscles. Uh, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> Okay, um, show what stance are you going to be on? My air is better than my earth, so I am going defense stance. Uh, okay. Considering that I am bleeding profusely. Uh, let's do another. Uh, do this one with the little aura around about it. Okay. And Bayushi san, what stance? I'm going to be real dumb here. I'm going to stay in attack stance. Attack stance is a default stance, so no yeah. items for you people. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Um, <clears throat> you see. Katashi sort of switched to a more aggressive stance. He's gonna go full. Full attack. Oh no! Oh boy! Uh, while. Can you still attack in defense stance? Okay. 
No distractions and actually, yeah, so... Kaito is going to go and defense stance. Which means he's going to be a little bit harder to hit, and Katashi is going to be a little bit easier to hit. Okay, right. Kurokami, you're up first. Let's round the combat. Um, do we have time to discuss Kitsuki's plan first? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that de depends on entirely if if uh, Eddie is in the room. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, in the room. He's now fighting with. I, I just room. good. <laughs> I, I just hit him in the back of the head for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you. Okay, I got a little lost and everything. So okay, good, perfect. Uh, no, uh, you're getting a weapon this turn. <laughs> oh, say no more. Okay. <laughs> um. Then yeah. Say no uh, more. Same as last time, we're going to have Shinigami make a Kenjutsu attack roll. Um, 27. Pretty sure that is that. Yeah. Um, it's only adds air plus defense. All right. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Damage for that, I need to put that on the sheet as well. So, fight. Um, adding this to the sheet. Can you see strength? Oh, right. uh, it's just the, the regular damage roll uh, at the end, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oof. Ooh. Uh, that is painful. Um, I'm going to spend a void point. Okay. I'll just have 10 damage. Um, yeah, uh, Shinigami sort of latches on to Kaito and starts sort of biting and mauling. Um... Um, yeah, then when he's got his guard down from that, uh, I'm going to press the attack. And can I just click the train attack button with my sword on the weapons, or do I have to roll yeah, the skill? Bundle, yeah, you can do it from the weapons page. Oof. Damn. That's awesome. uh, while, like, bending off... Uh, your your wolf like Ka Kaito sort of flailing around and trying to pull away, and that makes him quite difficult for you to hit. Surprisingly, um, I'm gonna drop that gun and draw a knife. small item that's a free action uh, and he is going to take a swipe at the wolf oh you bastard oh, oh no we're losing companions I don't think that's gonna hurt uh is 25 is that right <laughs> yeah that is that is Armor TN, that's right. Wow. Fast wolf. Um, yeah, he, like, you see Kaito, so he drops the, the, the Gaijin weapon and, like, draws this dagger uh, from his belt and tries to jam it into Shinigami's eye. The wolf, like, instinctually sort of lets go of him and backs away without taking any injury. Show. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is uh, are there any obstacles between myself and Okoto? I, I know he's sort of close, but it's, uh... the, the bodyguard is in between us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shiba Shiru and, and the Katashi are both kind of between you and um, Kuro. All right. Um, what what I need to roll in order to navigate around him over to Okoto. Um, 
gonna say attack your skin. Mm -hmm. Finally, a will weapon. Now I can <laughs> deal some damage. <laughs> uh, would would be a classic pro. Uh, I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. Um, trained or untrained? Well, I mean, I've got a zero. I guess it wouldn't really matter. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh. So given the situation, <laughs> uh, seeing the the clumsy toss of the katana earlier, uh, my own injury. And seeing our our friend Lion, uh, who is weaponless and doing his best, um, Sho will attempt to sort of... Uh, you know, he's in defense stance, so he's going full airbender on this one. He's going to try and like sort of dance around the, uh, the bodyguard between us, getting over to his uh to his side with a roll of well that could be worse yeah it could be worse could be worse mm. could have been six could have been one yep. yeah could have been 63. <laughs> <laughs> you're sort of backing away from the group of ronin that you're fighting mm -hmm. uh, and kind of Weaving your way back towards uh, both yeah. Kuro and uh, Shiro, uh, who are both sort of fighting uh, the bodyguard, mm -hmm. and try and get a weapon. S for Kuro. Yeah, well, yeah. So uh, once I'm there, if I get there successfully, I am slapping my Wakazashi into Kuro's hand and saying, "Roar from a brother lion." <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Yeah. I, I leave this to you. <laughs> yep. As I'm, you know, attempting to hold in my own ribs. <laughs> yeah, we'll go go real cool on this one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You you weave your way back and just, as you say, slam your Wakasashi into his hands. Finally, a will with I saw it and I immediately thought of you. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> 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 uh, there is a katana at his feet that's still in its sheath at the moment, which you may get yourself a proper weapon. Uh, the Ronin you're fighting sort of pushes on with you, though they sort of follow you through. Um, and it's going to try and exploit that too. So you're in the defense stance, your armor TN has been increased by your combined air ring rank. And which is three. Rank. And your defense skill rank as well. Yep. And, oh, crap. Um, okay. Uh, 15, which is most likely not going to be a hit if you're in defense sense. Uh, yeah. So, um, even with, uh, even with the injury, uh, and no, I'm good there. Yeah, so yeah, it's just you're, barely. You're backing up, and this Ronin is following you, taking swipes mm -hmm. at you with the katana, but you're managed to kind of keep him away, even unarmed. Yep. Blow like yeah. a flowing wind. <laughs> yeah. Katashi is now going to turn around since he was like rudely hit in the back of the head uh, and swing his katana uh, for uh, Kuro. And spill attack modes. This might be this might be painful. So I have to keep one for my friend. Come on, I do not want to drop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, of course you don't want to drop. I'm relying on you, dude. <laughs> that is a hit. Oh boy. Yeah, my armor is. Please be small. Please be small. Please, please be a flesh rune. Oh, 
Can I can I spend a void point to make that twenty five? Yep. Yeah, I will spend one of my void points to make that twenty five. Yeah, and with your armor, it will go down to twenty two. Ow! <laughs> this guy hurts. Yep. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting you to get any a fight with him the first time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, so you said twenty-two, so yeah. that means I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. We we attack the boss character right off the bat, gentlemen. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yep, that's two. That's two raises. <laughs> I can I can hit I can hit up to two raises. I can do that. I can do that. I can do yeah, that's, this. That's that's yeah, you're 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 good. Uh, Sheba, you're in full defense mode, so you're just, you're protecting yourself. Oh, yeah. At the moment. Uh, I don't know if you can do anything else while you're in. I think I can, I can keep the same roll as, as last time for my defense, but I could also try to re-roll it, right? Uh, if you have... Because I have defense three, so I could keep the... you defense three, you can keep it that, or you can try and re-roll it, you yeah. Um, uh, I think... What's the, what's the roll, anyway? Uh, so yeah, I'm just... You can make three actions, so you can move a little bit and things like that, so you can back off and stay in full defense mode. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I kind of what I wanted to do. I'm gonna re-roll this though, just for fun. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay, yeah. uh, We're still yeah. rounding up. Yeah, it's still rounding up. So that's, that's nine. Okay. Instead yeah. Of eight for your defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that and back up a little, a little bit, bit and just yeah. kind of take over, like just look over what's going on and everything. Keep on my watch. <laughs> Try to stay uh, alive. So Kurokami seems to be kind of equal, but he's got a wolf helping him out, so that's you know to be expected. Uh, Sho seems to be holding his own okay, despite not being armed. Kisho seems to be remarkably only scratched. At this point, uh, and uh, Kuro, after taking a hit from the bodyguard, still seems to be okay. He's bleeding quite a bit, but he's still able to fight on. And speaking of Kuro, it is his turn. I want to grapple um, Kitashi instead of drawing the Wakasashi. I need to get distance to properly situate this real quick. Grapple so I want to grapple him. with him. Yeah. Apple rooms, the hell Any distance, so I'm going with none of it. <laughs> so, so, so for grappling, you have to grapple them first, and then on the next turn, you can throw them. And that's a complex option. And that leaves them prone. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going to grapple him. He's not going to break the grapple. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win the next grapple. Oh, if he tries to break the grapple. And I'm going to yeet him. And I'm going to yeet him far. <laughs> find the mechanics of it. What page are the grappling rooms on? Uh, grappling is right under stances. So under I, it's right underneath. Um, I I do. So forty eight, no eighty eight. Page eighty eight. I'm sorry, because I is on eighty seven. Grappling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is probably not a good time to tell you that he's um very good at unarmed combo. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So yeah, Let's you make a. Uh, that jujitsu roll, please. No problem. Oh god, I'm about to fuck around and find out. Oh, I I think there's plenty of finding out to go around yeah, here. Yeah, there's plenty. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 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 23. Mm. He, he's in full attack mode, so he's easier to grab a hold of at the moment, and has fury. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, you've definitely grabbed the hold of them. Just, <laughs> let's do this properly, come on. Next session's yeah. gonna be like, your mission from the throne <laughs> is to find out what happened to the last Emerald Magistrate. <laughs> <laughs> right? But oh, the, boy. the, um, <laughs> the, the kind of smart that it gives you once you grab a hold of them probably makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, Kisho. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. I'm, oh, I'm not finished because I still have my, uh, I can talk. Yeah, you can talk. I thought we, yeah, I thought we was having a duel. 
I thought we was having a duel. <laughs> I gotta keep. I gotta. I gotta keep taunting him. I gotta keep taunting him. Okay. <laughs> uh, sh yeah, Kishu, you're up. Is there anything around me that is a knife that just is a knife? I thought you would have had knives hidden on you. Oh, yeah! ninja, are you? Hold on. <laughs> you if you don't stab this man, you dumb person. You dumb person. <laughs> yeah, you've got a small knife on you. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I need to put the. Yeah, hold on. How far? I can see Dumpch with his gun. He's in range. He You're dropped going the gun. for the man with the gun? Yeah, Hell he... yeah, you cut, you cut off the head of the snake! Uh, unfortunately, the, well, not unfortunate for you. So the, the guns <laughs> that they're using in this era are like single shot, mm. like flintlock type pistols. So he like, blow, like loaded that shot into Kurokami and then dropped the gun. He's stuck to wielding a knife at this point. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Well, good. Good for him. <laughs> uh, hopefully, he put a knife between his eyes. <laughs> oh. the cold shot. No, just chucking really. Chuck Tastic. He's chucking. Yep. Uh, Um, Kurokami, you become aware of a knife flying between you and <laughs> uh, Kaito. I turn God around. Damn it. And, <laughs> see the scorpion hand extended. <laughs> I look to the source of the knife, and uh, you think you can hit him next time? <laughs> just. <laughs> Thanks just... for going so Keep... well. Kisho just stares off in the distance, like the thousand yard stare. Just. <laughs> uh, shameful display. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and now this Ronin is going to try and kill you. Yep. Oh, Jesus. No, might as well. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, that was awful. There's a lot. There's a three. Um, yeah, um, five, yeah, seven, <laughs> seven to hit you. No, seems like a solid hit. Wow, <laughs> wow, yep, that was a uh, two threes and a two. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll take it. Jeez, and a few ones. Uh, cool. Um, that Ronin clumsily swinging the katana. I'm not sure how to react to you throwing a knife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the other oh, you remaining really Ronin. Knife? Yep. The other Ronin that was on uh, Show's tail is going to take a swipe at him. You're in full defense mode, I don't think that's... Or not full, though, you're in defensive stance. So I don't think 20 is going to hit you, for sure. No, yeah, your armor team is 25. Cool. The second Ronin following Hitsuki Show again, can't land a blow on the dragon, even unarmed. <laughs> Hurokami! <laughs> Um, second verse, same as the first. Go. Nice. Oh, first, um, uh, are you all staying in the same stances? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I'm still in attack stance. Oh, well, no, I'm, I'm grappling gonna... him. So, <clears throat> we're, we're grappled now. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna switch, uh, seeing that he's grappled to, 
um, like a regular defensive stance, right? You can still attack from there. Yeah, you can still attack from defense. Yeah. You just add the combination of your air ring and defense skill to your right. armor to you. So you are. You can switch to this little dude with the aura around him. Uh, anybody else changing stances? Or are you all, all good? Nope. I'm yeah. staying where I am. <laughs> cool. Yep. Yep. So Kurokami. Uh, first. Shinigami made a bite. 18. Yeah. 18. That is not going to hit. Okay. Then I'm going to make an attack. Um. Ow. 37. <laughs> that, that, that is a hit. <laughs> I should have called shot for the head, but we live and we learn. <laughs> 14 damage. 10 damage, okay. He doesn't wear armor, so that's quite substantial for him. Uh, I'm gonna spend my last void point. Mm. Just die, old man! <laughs> no, he's like the same age as you, guys. <laughs> uh, same age as us? Yeah. Yeah, as I'm well, striking out... just respected him, then. <laughs> as I'm uh, striking out and, and drawing blood, I'm going to basically tell him, like, your time has come. Uh, he draws his white kasashi into his main hand uh, and comes swinging at you with a knife and a white kasashi. Uh, which is going to increase his attack roll with a white kasashi by five, but it doesn't get a penalty on the knife roll because he's skilled at him. So... I keep this, keep shuffling the character sheets on them. Uh, so what can Sashi roll? Uh, and with the plus five that he's adding to that for fighting to kind of that. Not gonna have. Uh, and knife roll. No. Nice. So yeah, he's, he's swinging at you with the like sashi and like tanto, uh, but yeah, you're sort of able to kind of weave and move around and parry easy enough. Uh, show. Hmm. There's a katana at your feet. <laughs> well, um. Kuro, you still just have the one weapon, or did you wind up with two? Uh, well, the the katana that's on. The oh no no no, he's he's grappling him. That's right. That's right. That, yeah. I mean, I still got the walkers. Oh, what's the Zaki in my hand is just. I'm grappling him real right. long, real real good right now. If I had a katana, I would have had grappled him, but I got a wakazashi. Uh, no, so that's I'll, that's okay. I'll I'll position myself to assist because um so i'll um you grapple him too let's get it no, no, no. Awesome. i'll um i'll kind of like you know uh, sl uh slip my toe under the katana and kick up lifting it up into my hands uh just grabbing hold of it and preparing to hand it off once he you know does does whatever he's going to do with this guy he now i'm sure wants to be holding up above his head uh, <laughs> And the Ronin is going to try and then you killing him. Okay. 18. 25. On show. Uh, 25 to hit? Uh, yep. Thank goodness, no. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're in defense stance. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah, you just managed to get away from that sword swing. Uh, this time he cuts a little bit closer than previously. Grappling! Okay, so Katashi is going to try and take control of this. Uh, he's please, roll, please, so, please either roll badly or let me just max out on like five, <laughs> on five tits. I looked away and it worked. I looked away and it worked, so... <laughs> um, character sheet's done that. Um, 
Okay. Um, so, I'm going to need a jujitsu and strength roll from you, Kuro. Oh, yeah, I can provide both of those. <laughs> um, here is so my. It's, it's a combination. So, you're making a jujitsu roll, but you're changing the trait from agility to strength. strength. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. is also going to make this it's opposed strength versus jiu-jitsu strength yes oh okay yep so yeah you've still got him grappled he is not taking control of this at all um so yeah both of you are kind of locked in this this wrestling match until it gets to your turn uh Shida? Ooh, man. I'm not just going to let this guy hit me. I can't do that. <laughs> and since he's grappled, it's a perfect opportunity for me to try and hit him because I have such a disadvantage. Uh, is this one yeah, no, that's why I'm like debating whether or not I should actually do it. Um, there's some more running around here, right? <clears throat> yeah, there's other running. Two trying to if you leave him. with that katana, I'm going to match you. <laughs> oh, I just, I know, I don't have a katana. <laughs> uh, no, I... that shoulder has it. That shoulder has it. Yeah, I fault. picked it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you said there's two that are chasing somebody? Or on somebody? Yeah, there's two on show at the minute. Okay, yeah, I would go, I would want to try and engage one of them. Go, cool. yeah. Uh, so that's Ronin number four and number one. Just like a, a normal, you know, attack. Yeah. Where's my sheet? I have too many screens now. Mm -hmm. I know. Suffering Blessing. from success. Blessing and a curse. <laughs> All right, so I'll just do one of these, right? Oh, yep. That's a that's a hit. Then I go to weapons and we're using this. A little damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, enough to seriously wound one of the Ronin. Hell yeah. I'm contributing. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Uh, that, that's gonna be it for me as you see this yeah. uh, like a little bead of blood start coming off my mask yeah, you're just like heavily I'm pretty, wounded I'm pretty bad you come up behind um, one of the Ronin and like just lash down across his back uh, Kuro <laughs> oh yeah so I'm eating him <laughs> <laughs> as I thought you might mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna throw him at um, one of the other Ronins <laughs> if they're within five feet. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to get like two two knockdowns for one. So yeah, I'm gonna throw him, and that's just my complex action. Uh, so yeah, he's thrown. Um, he lands hard on his back. Uh, prone, um, make a roll see if one of the, the Ronin that you're also throwing them at can get them at, get out of the way and thing. As I'm throwing him, I want to say, lighter than rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ronin just manages to get out of the way. Uh, as, yeah, Ashy sort of hits the, the floor. Doesn't even try to catch his homie, God. <laughs> Lighter than rice. Yeet! <laughs> Lighter than rice. Yeet! He sure. Alright, so. You just saw dude, me throw a big. You just man. got yeeted. And he. Uh, the rodent moved out of the way, so his ass hit the ground. No, no, no. What? Sorry, got. Sorry, not you. I forgot to mute myself. Oh, okay. Keep going. Homeboy standing over there with a knife. 
looking like the meme, just standing with his knife, now his gun's down. So, I'm gonna look to close the distance. And try to, like, jujitsu's. Yeah, we're gonna try to fucking. He's got that. No, I'm just gonna try to jam a knife into him. Yep. The bodyguard now lying on the floor. And yeah. Cool. Yep, he's gonna be quite easy for you to hit. Yeah, we're just gonna go to stab town now that he's on the ground. Um, we need we we need at least one dishonorable person in the party that doesn't care about honor. I ain't got shit. I'll I'll stay. I'll go to stab town and him on the ground. Like, a uh, knife attack. Alright, sheet. Oh. Ooh. Yep, that hits. <laughs> Pretty solid hit. Are you stabbing or are you throwing the knife? Oh no, I'm stabbing him. Oh yeah, so he, since he hits the ground, you leap on him and start next. Just leap and just. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yeah! I want blood! <laughs> uh, uh, let's, let's spend one of our heads void point. That's a lot of damage. Oh god, he has void points too! Of course he does. He's also a fairy, he's a tough guy, he's got a lot of, a lot of wounds, um, which is why he's a bodyguard. Um, here you leap on him uh, as soon as Kuro lets him go and he slams into the ground. You see, like you see, Bayu Shikisho leap onto onto this big <laughs> crab <laughs> and start stabbing him with like a tanto. <laughs> um, savage. Um, as like the the two Ronin are about to sort of move, um, you hear the. The powerful but elderly voice of a man sort of cuts through the fight. Enough! Um, you see uh, a number of the Ronin sort of turn around. Uh, the patrons who have all kind of scattered in the the brothel are like sort of peeking out behind overturned tables and chairs. Um, you see, like, the, the shock on Kaito's face uh, as standing in the doorway is an older man. Uh, his hair white as well, much like Kaito's, but with age, uh, not through dyeing it. But he is wearing the, the sky blue of a crane. And he's standing with two uh, fully armoured and armed samurai, also wearing crane armour. Uh, Kaito immediately drops to his knees, regardless of what um, <laughs> is going on. My father, my lord. Uh, we'll end it there. Oh. What? Oh, what? snap. Well oh, done, what? Andy. You Hell get yeah. Spanked. You get spanked <laughs> by Dad. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. What? Daddy's here. Oh, Daddy's here. <laughs> Who wants Daddy's belt? <laughs>